stitch up the wound, the operation was a success. Are you excited? Yes, I am. Pavlovsky promised to call me in the morning and nothing. If he promised, he'll call. I thought you said you had a good talk. Anya, you know it's not all up to him. Why not? He's the CEO. Yes, he is, but there's a board of directors above him. Sasha. Pavlovsky is your classmate, and he knows exactly what you're capable of besides remember your saying. Hmm. A burden of one's choice is not felt. You see. I can't eat. Good morning, everyone. Hi. Eat, son. Thank you, sweetheart. Everything's gonna be okay. Double dip. Do you confirm that it was Nurse Karpova who administered the double dose of insulin that caused the death of the patient? No one could have done it but Nina. Your Honor, I have no further questions. Hello? Senya, I have news. Jenna, I hope it's good. I haven't slept all night. The board approved your candidacy. You're in the family now, Evlev. Jenna, darling. I don't know how to thank you. Why thank me? You'll work it off. All right, tomorrow at 11 a.m. I expect you in the office. Yeah, I'll see you then. Thank you. Well, you can read about how carbohydrates are combined in the food industry. Do you understand your homework? Yes. Everyone is dismissed? Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Professor, can you tell me on which page I can read about these compounds? For you personally, Kira, I'm ready to tell you everything in person. You were good today. Maybe I just imagined it. No, it wasn't just you. I was offered a job at a big company as a boss. The head of the company? No, a department. But do you know how big the pay is there? You're my boss. So what? You're gonna give me that little car now. I guess I am. I will, that's it. I'll come see you later. When? Tomorrow after the new job. Okay. I'll wait for you. My boss. <laughs> Kira. Who do I see? What's up, baby girl? Take it easy. Where are you going? We won't have the last couple. We want to hang out somewhere. Shall we go? Okay. I'm totally free today. We stood up for your key interests. Initially, the facts were not on your side. You leaked my case. I'll get another lawyer. And you'll pay me back. Wait a minute, we can. We can't. Hello? Anya, come in. Do you hear this? Yes. What I was so afraid of happened. It was our last big client. I couldn't pay my salary anymore. Anya, I have a lot of respect for you. We're a wonderful assistant. 
But you have to take a leave of absence at your own expense. For how long? Indefinitely. I'm sorry. About two months. New types of tea, it's hard to know at once. Such beautiful names, summer night, rustle of day. No, I'll have a splash of champagne. How about you? Heavenly princess works for you. Cheeky fruit works for you. Do I know you? I'm new. No, you're not. I called you, why didn't you answer? I couldn't. And what were you doing? Never mind. Let's go, we'll have tea afterwards. You think you're the coolest? Can I have a muffin? You have to wait in line. Don't let me see you. Anya! Pavlovsky called, I've been approved. Do you hear that? I got a new job. Yes, that's very good news. We should celebrate. I'll make reservations at that French restaurant on the square. That's where? Expensive. That's okay. I'm the new technologist in my water. I can afford it. Okay, it's a deal. Kisses. Thank you for supporting me the whole time. Now we have a new life. Let's drink to our new life. Come on, I can afford anything now. We'll buy whatever we want. Now I can feel like a real man. You haven't even applied for a new job yet, and you're already mentally spending money. Besides, it's not clear when I'll start working. You don't have to work at all. I'd love to. You say you haven't applied for the job. But HR keeps calling. So answer it. You think so? Sure, if they call at this hour, it must be serious. I'll be quick, okay? Okay. I'll find out what happened. What's up? We said not to call so late. Sasha, I'm pregnant. You're going to be a father. What do you mean? Are you sure? I took the test. Two lines. Oh, wait. Test can be wrong, plus it's not supposed to happen. Oh, I see. You're not happy. You're trying to get out of this, aren't you? I'm very happy. It's just... It's all a bit sudden. Why don't you calm down now? You don't have to be nervous. Do a couple more tests. Different brands, I mean. And then we'll meet tomorrow and we'll talk about it. Okay? All right. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. Yes. I was reminded about the packet of papers. Let's drink to a new life. Sure. I'm excited. A new life after all. I love you so much. Sasha, what if your new assignment in my unexpected vacation is really a sign? 
Start a new life. Can you imagine? I'll find a new hobby. Change my clothing style, my hair color. Don't touch. What's wrong? You had a funny up on your phone where you could change your hair color. I wanted to see it. Give it to me. Messages came in from Kira. She's pregnant, Sasha. I'll explain everything. Is she a colleague of yours? But, uh, She's a student of mine. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear any more. Get out. You... You got it all wrong. I want you out of this house right now. And the sooner you get it together, the more respect you'll show me. Good morning. Is dad asleep or has he left yet? He left. Did he leave for his new job? Mom. Daddy left this house. We're separated. Wait. You were doing so well. He has another woman. Dad? That can't be true. It can't be. But it is. We had a good life, Mom. We will continue to live well. Screw you all. Shall we talk like business people? I've worked off the fee I paid. Signing not to leave instead of detention pending trial is a serious achievement. Even with the evidence against you. I can also give you some free advice. Plead guilty and the court will take it into account in sentencing. Conviction. But it wasn't my fault. I could not give a double dose of insulin to this Galeev. I've been working so hard. Save your tears for the court. I'm a pragmatic man. If you want to keep working off your innocence, pay up. I don't have any more money. Well, then a heartfelt confession, 
And then you know the rest. In my experience, the next trial will be your last. My goodness, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Should we call an ambulance? I don't need an ambulance. I'm a nurse. It's my own fault. I should have been watching the road. Are you sure? I'm fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Let's go into the cafe with you. Let's get some coffee. I have to make sure you're all right. No, I'm fine. Please, I beg of you, let's go, come on, let's go. A patient died on my shift. And everyone says it was my fault. I'm going to jail, and it wasn't my fault. What happened? What are they accusing you of? They say I mixed up the vials and gave a double dose of insulin, but I didn't. You have a lot of experience, don't you? I couldn't have made that mistake. I couldn't. Tell me, do you have a lawyer? I did. When my husband left me, I was left with nothing. He left me for someone else. That's why I moved away. I thought I'd start all over again. But it just got worse. I know what you mean. And I'm truly sorry. Thank you. Anya. I'm sorry, but I really have to run. Nina, let's exchange numbers. Why? I just want you to know that there's someone in this town you can turn to for help. Thank you. Right away. Well, here are our technologists. Guys, I'd like you to meet Alexander Alexandrovich of Love, your new head of technology from now on, all questions to him. He signs all the documents, so he's in charge, Boris. Come here. Boris will be your right hand. Pleased to meet you, Alexander. Alexandrovich, likewise. I hope you two work together. It's important, after all, we're applying for a government contract. We're on a deadline, and because we didn't have a chief technologist, we fell a little behind schedule. But now we'll catch up. Won't we, Sansanik? Can we catch up? Don't doubt it. Good. Media, hi. Hi. Where have you been for so long? I was looking for a job. So far without success. But nothing. We'll get through it. Forgive us, son. That's okay, mom. How is this your fault? You're the one who got hurt. It's gonna be okay. I'm going to be on the basketball team. I'm going to get a raise. Okay. We'll figure it out. Just find something you're interested in. Something to distract you. I like my profession. It's all about finding an opening. You will. Of course you will. Thank you. Thanks.
You know, I'm even glad my wife found out. A child should grow up with his father. Yeah. I totally agree with you. It just came out of the blue. It was unexpected for me, too. Or do you think I'd want to get pregnant at 20? I was actually counting on you to support me, and you. Hira! My little girl! Of course I will support you. I will never abandon my child. And I would do anything for him, for you, to make you happy. Okay. I just have a... I have a little favor to ask you. Which is? Don't tell anyone at the university about our relationship yet. For starters, you and I have more than just a relationship. I'm expecting your baby. And second of all, you're not going to be working there anymore. Yeah. I'm just afraid all this talk will hurt me to... You're weird. Anybody else would be proud to have such a young, sexy wife. I am. Of course I am. But I'm ashamed in front of my son. Hello? Nina, hello, this is Anna of Leva. We met you today after the incident with the car. Yes, Anya, hello? Nina? I didn't tell you at the meeting. The thing is, I'm a lawyer. I haven't had a case on my own in a long time, but I've had a successful career in the past. Anyway, I'd like to offer you my services. Anya, I have nothing to pay. I will not take money from you, first of all, I myself offer you my help. And secondly, I need something to start with after a long break. Thank you. Great. First, I need to familiarize myself with the details of the case. Can you tell me the name of the investigator? Rudenko, Pavel Rudenko. Rudenko? Yes, do you know him? Yeah. I think I do. Yes. Ender, what's the matter? Igor, come on, you'll be resting in retirement and write me a report on the work done. What do you want? Hi, Pasha. Hello, Anya. What are you doing here? There's a girl I'm defending, Nina Karpova. I found out that you were in charge of her case. Yeah, Nina Karpova. I remember, have a seat. As far as I know, her case has already gone to trial. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Just wanted to review the material, if you don't mind. I don't mind. Igor, come in. How long has it been since I've seen you? 20 years, maybe. 
18, 18 years. You look good. Thank you. Pavel Petrovich, hello. I need Nina Karapova's file. It's already in court. New details have come to light. Make it quick. I've got it. Let's go get some coffee. Then we'll decide what to do about your Karpova. Let's go. We relied on the expertise of the medical examiner. Believe had a critical amount of insulin in his blood instead of one shot of insulin and one shot of mesodin. He gave him two insulin shots. According to the count of used impulse, this version was confirmed. Moreover, we have camera recordings that show that no one else entered the room except Karpova. So that's 100% right there. Anya, she was first charged with premeditation. But they couldn't find a motive. I see. I feel sorry for her as a human being. But it's obvious there. Do you know what a reputation is? The death of a patient is a verdict for the clinic. I understand that you're Nina's lawyer and you'd like me to stand up for a former subordinate. I didn't say that. And I would have stood up for Karpova if the situation was controversial. But it's a clear-cut situation. The nurse made a mistake. A fatal mistake. Tragic. The clinic had nothing to do with it. I'm done. Tell me, can I talk to the head of security? I think so. Are you sure there was nothing special going on that day? Wasn't Galeev's death special? Please show me again a fragment of Nina entering the room. Sure, I don't care. Actually, we keep records from the server for seven days, but we still keep this record, and we turned it over to the police. Can you copy all the records from that day and give us a list of the employees who worked at the time? No problem. But we interviewed everyone who worked then and the day shift too. <laughs> oh, finally. Hi. And I was worried about what to make you. And I cooked everything myself. For the first time in my life, I baked Bilna's have a seat. How was work? Work, son. As they say, the first pancake always fails. But that's okay. So, champions, meet our new teammate, Bogdan Kavala. Get in line. He transferred to our university the other day. I won't hide the fact that I had something to do with it. Bogdan was the best player on his varsity teams. So it's a welcome addition. Let's start warming up. You were right. There's not a single clue. What have you decided? I'm gonna get as lenient a sentence as possible. A suspended sentence or a professional ban. Keep in mind, you have a very strong opponent. Who is? Sofia Galeva, the widow. 
wants to put Karpova in jail by any means necessary. Even like this? Do you have her address? Anya, we already worked her. She really is the only heiress, huge house, several apartments, accounts, everything goes to her. But she has an alibi. I still want to talk to her. Good luck with that. Hello? Are you Sofia Galloway? What do you need? What are you ringing for? I'm Anna Avleva, Nina Karpova's lawyer, the nurse who... Goodbye. I'm not talking to you, and I'm not settling. She killed my husband, and she's going down for it. Not until the court says so. You take it up with your lawyers, and I don't care. I know the bastard's a murderer, and she'll go down for it. What makes you so sure of that? If you come near me again, I'll claim I'm being pressured by the defendant. May I? You're back quickly. Did you find anything on the driver? Nothing much. Anya, are you sure there's a connection? He hugged her very frankly. So? Pasha, he's just the driver. I agree, it's weird. So did you find something? So, the name is Savorkin Konstantin. Or 1980, no criminal record. He's had three enforcement proceedings open in the last two years. All in the elements. Check it out. How much debt? Yeah, it's a lot of money, but he paid it off a month ago. A month ago? You see, he got the money after Galeev's death. Do you have the address of Suvorkin's ex-wife? I'll find it for you. Media. Media. What are you doing here? I came to quit. What are you doing here, exactly? Mom told you everything, didn't she? Do you want to quit? You're welcome. It's good for me. I won't see you. How do you talk to your father, Media? I have very little time, my son and I have to leave. Sasha, go play? What did he do? Nothing, we're just verifying some information. Kind of information. Just recently, your husband paid off all his debts in the elements. That's good. What's wrong with that? My son and I went on a vacation. I'm editing a video for the family archives. There was a sum on a nice car. Tell me, where did your ex-husband get that kind of money? I didn't ask. He said he got a job. Why? He works as a driver. Where would a driver get that kind of money? Are you from the IRS? Then deal with him, and it's my mother's business that the child is clothed in shabby. We have to go, Sasha. Go get dressed. Goodbye. Goodbye, thank you. Yes. Did you call me? I did. Who do you think wired the money to Suvarkin? Galeva. Absolutely right. As soon as Galeev died, Suvarkin immediately started spending Sofia's money. That's who had motive. Suvarkin was at the clinic on the day of Galeev's death. He brought fruit, insulin lasts eight hours, and Galeev died in the middle of the night. So if he was involved, he certainly did not kill Galeev with his own hands. Where are you now? Under the balcony of Suvarkin's ex-wife, she didn't tell me anything useful. That's why I haven't decided where I'm going yet. 
Wait for it. Oh, I think I've made up my mind, Pasha. I'm going to the clinic right away. I'll be right there. You found a motive. But how did they do it? I need to figure it out. Pasha, the trial is tomorrow. We don't have any time at all to get them. This is already crossing all boundaries. I've already told you everything. What more do you want from me? Why wasn't the investigation given a complete list of employees? You were given a complete list of employees yesterday. It's a lesson. Come here. The list didn't say Ina Zhuravlova worked for you. Who's Ina Zhuravlova? Nurse Ina Zhuravlova. Zilizin. Why wasn't Ina Zhuravlova on the list? Because she quit. When did she quit? Before Galeev died? I don't remember. I'll check with personnel. When did Ina Zhuravlova quit? Okay. Ina Zhuravlova quit 10 days before all this happened. Tell me when she quit. Was Galeev already in the hospital? Galeev was in the hospital two weeks before he died. Yes. Mom, did your father call you? No, why? He calls me all the time. I don't answer the phone. Why not? I don't want to talk to him anymore. Nidia, you're an adult and you can make your own decisions. It's not right not to talk to your father just because of me. If you want to keep in touch with him, then keep in touch. I won't mind. What are you watching? The life of the clinic corridor during the week. It's a very entertaining video. Third time I've seen it. Tired. Go to bed. I will soon. Good night. To your honor, honorable court. As you already know, Merit Kaleev was a wealthy man. There was a driver in his family, Konstantin Suvorkin. Suvorkin had serious financial problems. He owed several thousand dollars on the elements alone. And suddenly, after Galeev's death, Suvorkin suddenly pays off the entire debt to his ex-wife. There is one more interesting detail. The fact is that Suvorkin's ex-wife Ina Zuravlova worked in the same clinic where Galeev died. But a week before Galeev's death, she suddenly quit. That is why her name does not appear in the materials of the investigation. Please call Mr. Zalison as a witness. Mr. Zalison, please come forward. How does all this apply to witness Zalison? Excuse me, here you go. Your Honor, what's going on here?
Counsel for the defendant, haven't you forgotten that during the examination of a witness, you have to ask questions of the witness? Yes, Your Honor, I apologize. I'll move on to the examination, Alexei Nikolaevich. Did you have an affair with Inna Shravlova? Shall I repeat the question? Your Honor, may I present the video evidence? Permission granted. As you know, the main evidence of Nina Karpova's guilt is this video, made allegedly on the day of Merit Galeyev's death. But this tape was made five days before Galeyev's death, and it is 100% identical to the one on the day of Galeyev's death. My point is that the fragment that was used as evidence is falsified. It's just a copy of an earlier video. Mr. Salison had access to the recording server. Or someone Mr. Salison was close to his mistress, for example. Did Salison help you to falsify the video? No, he didn't know. She pinned me against the wall and threatened to put me in jail. Then I tried to seduce Sophia and get money out of her. After Galeev's death, Sophia got access to her husband's accounts and gave me the promised sum. We had nothing to do with the murder. Anya, I don't know how to thank you. You saved my life. I'm so glad I could help you. Thank you. I hope that everything will work out for you, and in your personal life, too. Thank you. Goodbye, then. Anya. I didn't say thank you if it hadn't been for you. I would have let an innocent man down. Pasha. I couldn't have done it without you either. So, I'll uh, thank you, too. What's next? Are you going back to the Premium League? Maybe. Anna! What are you doing here? Anya, I'm sorry. I should have warned you. I need to pick up some things. We have nothing to talk about. Listen to me. What's happened can't be changed. Now I have to take responsibility for what happened and take care of you. That doesn't mean I'm going to leave you. Why don't you say anything? It's taken me a lot of effort to come to my senses after your betrayal. You look beautiful. If I really say what I think, everything will break down. You've made your choice. Leave the keys on the nightstand and lock the door. Anna, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mark Evgenievic. It's just Mark. Would you like some coffee? No, thank you. Obina, make us a double espresso, me and Anya. Okay. 
Please come in. Thank you. You as a lawyer were recommended to me by Sofia Galifa. She is a good acquaintance of mine. We are friends. Or rather, we used to be family friends. She was impressed with your work in the merit trial. May you rest in peace. Even though you were on different sides. Thank you. I'm offering you probation. You worked for a few months. We'll take a closer look at you. And then we'll make you officially employed. All right. All right. That's fine. When can we start? Right now. Uh, Here, Anna. Uh, да. Наш... Our new client. Artem Art Melnikov. Bank, Bank clerk. Caught stealing. Change the phone number of a customer registered at the bank. And with the help of the scam, money was taken from the account. But the guy's girlfriend thinks he was under duress. Check it out. Obina, I'm running out of time, and I'm sorry. We can't have coffee together. Help yourself. I suggest we have dinner together. I'm fed up with you. Do you know the radius of the circle? What? Do you know the radius of the circle? 1 foot 80 centimeters. So don't come within this distance of Nika. Do you get it? Are you going out with her? Are you in trouble? Guys, calm down. What are you guys doing? Calm down. All right, guys. I've decided on the main lineup for the competition. Glikov, Ivlev, Svetlenko, Parshin, Bukalko. <laughs> I'm counting on you guys. You're what we call a dream team. Anyway, our new boyfriend Bodia is throwing a party in his honor at the dorm. Would you like to come? No. I'm sick. I don't feel well. What's the matter with you, baby? Do you want me to go get some medicine? Maybe you just need to rest. I don't need anything. Kira. I'm sick of this. Wait, what's wrong with you? I'll calm her down. Kira, wait. Why are you freaking out? You like Max. Fuck him. I have other plans for my life. You shouldn't do that. I would never leave him. He's not my level. Who's your level? Someone who would at least buy me an apartment or a car. Did you find yourself an oligarch? I'm pregnant. Ivlev and I are living together now. Ivlev? Is he going to buy you an apartment and a car? Imagine that. He quit university and now works at a big firm. So I'll definitely get a car and an apartment from him for giving birth to him. Just don't tell anyone at the university. Anna. Hello, my name is Elisa. Nice to meet you. Hello, did you contact the law firm? Yes, Artem needs professional protection. It's not his fault. Kravchenko dragged him into this crime. Who is Kravchenko? Artem is an orphan. Kravchenko is his favorite educator. He once saved his life, then supported him in every way. He even helped him to get into the university on a budget. And Artem thinks he owes him everything. Let's sit down. Tell me, why do you think Kravchenko had something to do with the illegal money transfer? We hadn't seen each other in the 24 hours before his arrest. Kravchenko came to his bank, supposedly to see how his pupil was working. And then Artem came home very upset. Did he say anything? Yes. He said he helped him. 
But he also did a very bad thing to a stranger, and that he would have to look for another job. He was arrested the next day. Good evening, colleagues. I have carefully studied the package of documents on the well for which we are offered a state order. To put it mildly, the object is not simple, it's a dumping ground. It used to be a dumping ground, but it was liquidated six months ago. Borea, the elimination of the dumping ground is no guarantee of so quality. What do you mean? This means that for this object, I propose a number of additional examinations. Agrochemistry, mineralogy, and I'm not talking about radiology. Weren't you supposed to be given the results of the examinations by now? Yes. But they're a bit dubious. I'd say they're implausible. What do you mean? Genevieve Petrovich, everything is too good here. It's perfect. All you have to do is sign. I would redo it. Can I have a word with you? Yes. What was that? Jenna, I'm in charge of quality. Ivlev, I've been going for it all my life. It's a state order, and that means a comfortable life in your old age, yours and mine. If you don't come to your senses, it's a gold mine. Jenna, I understand, but... Do you think I just took my friend as chief technologist? No, Sasha. I have to rely on you. Do you even realize the level of my trust? Yes. You're supposed to do the job, and it's your job to sign the paperwork. See you tomorrow. Hello, Artem. Hello. My name is Anna Vleva. I will represent your interests. I did not ask for a lawyer. Your girlfriend hired me. Alice, she cares about you. Artem, Alice told me what happened. Including about Kravchenko. The point is, I have to build a future line of defense. That's why I need to know all the details. There are no listening devices. This conversation is purely between us. Anatoly Sergeyevich Kravchenko asked me to transfer money from an account, said the account belonged to his business partner. What's the partner's name? Victor Back. He's a businessman. Kravchenko said that Buck was abroad and they needed to withdraw money for some business. And it has to be done by the evening or there will be fines. And you believed it. What did you do? I changed the phone number that the text code comes to. And I gave the password to Anatoly Kravchenko. Artem, why didn't you tell the police when they came? You see, Kravchenko raised me. I couldn't betray him. Yes, I understand. Only now, because of him, you're looking at jail time. What boarding school were you brought up in? Boarding school start on the road to Baikovka. Um, 
Hi, Nika. Hi. I heard that you were approved for the main team of the university. Congratulations. Thank you. Did Bogdan tell you? Yes. Can I talk to you? Sure. Anyway, Nika. I really like you and I've never liked anybody so much and you tell me. Nika. If you like Bogdan, I'll back off. But I want your word. Not his. You know? Bogdan is my brother. What? Our father died not long ago, and Bogdan has been taking care of me ever since. And I like you a lot, too. Yes, it's open. Pasha, hi. Hi, it's very good to see you. Come on in. Congratulations on your new job. What kind of office? The Bar Association, Mark Shaharovsky. Did you hear that? Yeah, he's a famous uncle. You're good. It's just a probationary period. Melnikov. Let's see who's running the case. What? Stepan Koganov. Is that good? He's a shady character. There's nothing to talk about. It's obvious fraud. I can see right through such characters like Melnik. The main thing is that they've thought of everything. They changed the phone numbers. They took money from Victor Buck's account and cashed it out right away. And who cashed it in? How should I know? You'd better ask your client who cashed the money. Aggravated fraud. Do you know the name Kravchenko? Kravchenko? This is the first time I've heard of it. This is Artem Melnik's tutor from the boarding school. And according to my information, he was the initiator of the scheme, a participant of which, although it's more likely that Artem was the victim. Victim? Are you making fun of me? A victim? Where did you get this information? I can't tell you my source of information. Look! You can start by convincing your client to give up his accomplices. Don't give me secret versions. Hello, excuse me, please, can I talk to Anatoly Kravchenko? There's no such thing. He doesn't work here anymore. Why? I don't know why. I think he had a beef with the principal. You don't know what exactly. Here comes the principal. Pavlik, collect the toys. Hello? Hello. I am looking for Anatoly Kravchenko. Who are you? I'm a lawyer. I'm investigating a case to interview him. I don't know. He used to live here, worked here for years. When he quit, he left, and I don't know where. He was registered in the township, but it's been 10 years since it was torn down. That's why I can't help you. What was his job here? He was a janitor. I heard he was a childminder. Well, you know, we don't have much of an atmosphere here. We do the best we can. Sometimes there's no money for cleaning, so I do the floors myself. And Anatoly took care of the kids. He taught physical education, hiking, made crafts with kids, and they adored him. What happened? Is he in trouble? No, not him. His former student Artem Melnik, remember him? Of course I do. Yeah, he's under investigation. He's suspected of fraud. Oh my god. He's such a good boy. Was he in close contact with Kravchenko? Yeah. Anatoly was like a father to him, you know? They had a hiking team and they were like family. Anatoly led that club. 
Once he even saved Artem's life, he almost fell into the abyss. And they've been in close contact ever since. Why did you fire him? I didn't fire him. He told me himself one day. So you didn't have any conflicts with him? No. Tell me, can I enter the territory? There is no absence in the Oma. I'm just leaving right now. So some other time. See you later. And I have Leva. I have some questions for you as a victim. Do you know the last name Kravchenko? No. I asked if you cooperated with the boarding school start. So, do you see this warehouse? Every day my cars transport fruits and vegetables to dozens of institutions, schools, orphanages, hospitals. Doesn't it surprise you that the man who is accused of stealing your money comes from the boarding school you work with? No, it doesn't surprise me. I don't see the connection. He stole my money. And you, instead of finding the money, you ask about the boarding school. And this money, by the way, is given by hard work. Come and see how people work. As I work hard. Guys, faster loading. What are we waiting for? I'm coming. Friends, a toast. Thank you so much for coming. It's a pleasure to be at the university with you. But the coolest thing is playing on your basketball team. We're going to win the competition. Cheers. And the fangirls and I are organizing a group for cheerleading. We'll be rooting for you. To make all the competitors jealous. Cheers. Cheers. That's not all. Wait for it. Whose team is the best? Ours. Thanks. Vidya, put on some music. Let's dance. Shall we dance? Why are you so sad? Take it. This is for you. Thank you. I don't drink. I'm going into sports mode. There's a competition coming up. And I'll be cheering for you. Let's just have fun then. Julia, I'm waiting for Kira, okay? She's not coming, you don't have to wait. Are you sure? A hundred percent, she's with Evlev. Mitya? She's with his ex-teacher, Alexander Alexandrovich. They're having an affair, didn't you know? Wait. It can't be, she said she was only flirting with him for credit. That's what I thought, but it turned out to be more than that. Let's go dancing. Tell me what you know. Well... How do you like your dinner? I like dumplings, thank you. What dumplings, Sasha? It's ravioli. Ravioli. My favorite, I love them. Very tasty, Kira. I'm having some doubts about the new job. Are you out of your mind? What's wrong with you? Listen to me. The thing is, I'm going to have to step over some principles. You're gonna be so boring. I'm gonna stop cooking for you. You better tell me something. Did you look at the car? Sasha, what's wrong? Do you want us to ride in public transport? You know it's a breeding ground for infections. Do you want me and the baby to be healthy? Kira, I... Sasha, I'm sick of this. Kira, please, baby, don't be nervous. I'm not nervous. I just want to be a responsible mother. And you'll buy us a car if you want to be a responsible father. I will, baby. I will. Yeah. I'll go down and get some water.
You look great, mom. Your work is doing you good. MM hum, my work is hard. And it doesn't let me go even at night. Hello. It's me. I wanted to see how your case was going. It's not good. My client doesn't want to give up his teacher, who might be the mastermind behind the scam. The victim back won't budge. What about investigator Koganov? It happened just like you said. He's not interested in the truth. I'll talk to him, politely. Thank you. For what? Thank you. You're welcome. Anya, we're a team. Anya, be careful. Good night. What else? Anya, it's me. Don't hang up. It's you. We need to talk urgently. I'll tell you where I am. What did you want to talk about? I just wanted to see you. I missed you after all. Sasho, it's not a topic of conversation. Anya, I know what I did was wrong. But I don't want you to be angry with me. I value your opinion. You weren't? Are you serious? S Sasha, you... You ruined everything. You killed my trust. Not long ago, I thought you were all I had. Look, if I have to say I'm not mad for you to leave, I'll say it. How rude. You know what? I'm not mad, really. I'm not mad because I don't feel abandoned. There's a difference. Actually, yeah. I think you and I should get a divorce. I'll file and we'll discuss the rest afterwards. Anya. Anya, Anya. Anna. This is for you, Gustins. Thanks. What I mean about Kravchenko. Yeah, the kids loved him a lot. They used to go camping together. It was a family. The principal was sorry to lose such an employee. Anya, I highly doubt the principal. I did some research on the boarding school. I know someone who works there. This Krapchenko didn't leave of his own free will. It was for fraud. There was no concrete evidence, but there were suspicions that Krapchenko was saving on food supplies. And in order not to make a fuss, he was asked to write a letter of resignation. The principal still does not want the story to be publicized. That's why she didn't tell you everything. I see. Back could have caught him stealing and turn him into the principal. It's possible. Kravchenko's motive is to punish back. We need to find this Kravchenko. I haven't succeeded in that yet. Do you know anything about him? I told you everything. Of course, Artem might still know, but he's not talking, because he's afraid of hurting Kravchenko. Wait a minute. I know, put it in the search. Tourism elective champions start boarding school. Weren't they like a family there, and Artem's not the only one on the team? I found something. Check this out. Nadezhda Ivanova. Girl from this team. 
I wouldn't be surprised if this girl is as attached to Kravchenko as Artem. She is. I'll find her. Hi. Hi. Why are you here? Don't you have your own job? It's my job now, too. What do you mean? This case has an investigator, Kaganov. I talked to the management. They've had questions about this Kaganov for a long time. In fact, they said that they would deal with him about his fitness for office. I asked that the case be handed over to me for the time being. Pasha. So now we're officially a team. Who's there? Police, open up, please. Good afternoon. Nadezhda Viktrovna. Yes. Major Rudenko. We are looking for Anatoly Kravchenko, who worked at the start boarding school during your stay there. Your tourism elective coach. He's no stranger to you. What happened? He lived with me when he left boarding school. He was looking for a job, but he moved out recently. He's got a job somewhere. He says they give him a dormitory here. That's all I know. Excuse me, can I reshoot some of the pictures? Sure. My phone died. Can I use yours? I'll email it to myself. Do you know how? Yes, I know how. Nadezhda Viktrovna, do you live alone, apart from Kravchenko's temporary residence? Well, yes. Okay, we're sending it off now. Thank you very much. It's time to go. I have a favor to ask of you, in case Kravchenko shows up. Let me know. I will. Thank you, goodbye. 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 Pavel Petrovich, I think I managed to find out the identity of the person who withdrew the money from the account. Who is he? Ilya Kupalov, 30 years old, lives in the middle of nowhere, but he has a car. Sedan, 30s, the car's license. Olga, Alexei, 19-3, Victor, Sergei. Good job. Way to go. It seems they forgot to introduce us to someone. Ilya Kupilov. Yes. Good afternoon. Major Rudenko, criminal investigation. You'll have to come with us. I'll tell you again. I have nothing to do with cashing out. This is the first time I've heard of it. Why do you make everything so complicated, Ilya Yuryevich? Heads or tails? What do you mean? Let's put it this way. If it's heads, then I'll charge you with fraud on a particularly large scale. And if it's tails, then I'll give you one last chance to cooperate and give up the organizer of your little OCG. And this, Ilya Yuryevich, is a big plus for you. Maybe they'll give you probation. What's in there? Heads. And I warned you. You don't have to. I'll tell you everything. I don't want to go to jail because of this creep. Then tell me. 
Nadia and I have been living together for two years now, and then all of a sudden this Sanatoly Sergeyevich appeared out of the blue. Nadia trusted him, and I wanted him to go away quickly, so somehow he came to me for help, and I made him the condition that after that he would finally disappear. He agreed. My job was simple, get the cash. That was it. How much did you get for it? Exactly. I didn't get anything. I gave him the money and he disappeared. He promised me something. But he disappeared. That's it. Another thing. Is there really an heads? No, Tails. But you made the right choice. I checked. Kravchenko did not check into any hotels. He did not buy tickets. Maybe he left by car. Put out an APB. Got it. Where could he have gone, if apart from Ivanova and Melnik he has no one? I'm thinking, maybe we should release this Artem. Maybe he'll lead us to him. No. We should keep an eye on Ivanova. She lied that she had not seen Kravchenko. They saw each other after the scam. What makes you so sure? You say Kupalov didn't get anything after the deal. Well... Where'd she get the new phone then? Are you sure it's new? Yes. First of all, this model only came out a month ago. It's just that Midi dreams of having a smartphone like this. And second of all, the first picture in her gallery is from yesterday. So what? Maybe she doesn't like taking pictures. Are you saying that Kravchenko gave her this fancy phone? Well, who else? Have you seen her surroundings? Do you know how much such a phone costs? So I suggest you keep an eye on Ivanova, right today. Where to today? It's late. Let's do this, I'll take care of the overnight stakeout. You go home, rest and sleep it off. Then come back tomorrow morning. We'll watch together. All right. See you tomorrow, then. Yeah. So here's the deal. I need to go to the site to get samples to analyze the well. Okay, but I think we're all set. That's why I've seen them. So I want to do an alternate investigation. Well, the paperwork's due this week, and if we do the tests, then... I know. Well, I don't understand how you can work here. Who do you have to be to stand all this? It's... That's it. My predecessor. What was in that guy's head that he was so calm about it all? Nikitin was a great guy. Too bad he liked fishing. What do you mean? He went fishing and drowned, fell out of the boat. Didn't seem to be overdoing it much. Oh, okay. Anyway, get ready to go to the well tomorrow. Whatever you say. Dismissed. Good morning. Hi. How long have you been sitting there? An hour or so. Igor's been here all night. No sign of Ivanievo or Kravchenko yet. Have you had breakfast? I didn't have time. Here you go. Are you prepared? So are you. Can I ask you a personal question? Yes. Are you married? Yes. To that guy, the one who stole you away from me, Sesha, I think. Yeah, that's him. You know, I was disappointed at the time. But now, looking back, I'm very glad that you found your man. Not really. 
The man I found cheated on me. We're getting a divorce. I'm sorry. That's okay. And the kids. My son, Midia. He's all grown up now. It's not easy for him, though. I understand. You know, I'm confused myself. I have to keep my face on, and inside I'm in chaos. It's like it's not happening to me. Anya, if I can be there for you, I want you to know that I'm always there for you. Thank you, I feel your support. Look. I think I know where they're going. To the boarding school. Where else could he hide? He knows every tree there. Igor, listen to me carefully and remember. I need your support. Internet start 20 kilometers along the Baikova. Hurry up. Thank you, daughter. Why didn't you come yesterday? I got scared. The police are looking for you. Good bread. It's tasty. If you're afraid, send your Ilya next time. He's disappeared. Disappeared? Yes. That's too bad. Can you look up the plane tickets for me? Everyone stay where you are. Don't move. Everybody stay where you are. Hands on the table. Anatoly Kravchenko, you are detained. I do not understand what you want from me. For what reason did you rob Viktor Borisovich back? Viktor Borisovich. Who? We know that you were in charge of the supplies at the start boarding school. We also know that Bak was supplying fruit and vegetables there. And you made a lot of money on these supplies. Listen, what's going on here? We've got a big article going on here. You could go to jail for 10 years. But if you cooperate with us, It was Bax's idea. It's just that some of the food didn't make it to the boarding school. He paid me pennies for it. Then the principal found out about the shortage. Bax suggested that I take the blame. Weren't you afraid you might go to jail? It was clear that the principal would not want a scandal and would fire her quietly. And Bax promised to give me a job at his firm with a good salary.
Next. Next. He ditched me. I was fired from my job. He didn't hire me at his firm. That's how one day I found myself without a job and without a roof over my head. I practically lived in a boarding school. So you decided to take revenge. I had to do something to punish him. And you decided to punish Artem Melnikov as well. The guy's looking at jail time. I'm ashamed of that. Really ashamed. I knew he wouldn't say no. He'd do anything I asked, got the guy involved. I was sure Buck wouldn't run to the police. You robbed him. I robbed him. But I thought he'd be scared that the police would go through his black accounting. I mean, he wasn't just making money from boarding school. This scheme works for all state institutions. I thought he was going to drop the case. What am I? All my life, I've been working like a wolf. And what have I got? Your Honor, I do not absolve my defendant of guilt. But I continue to insist that he committed this act under the strong influence of a man who was practically his father. It is a very real psychological coercion. And I ask that Artem Melnikov be released on bail. The prosecution. The prosecution has no claims. Artem Melnikov is released on bail. Here's our new star. Good afternoon. I've always said that a real lawyer works on calls, not breathing book dust. Have a seat, Anya. You did a brilliant job on the last case. I was just doing my job. Modesty makes a person gray, Anya. What would you say if I introduced you to my partner? We're having lunch at the Riverside, you know? Yes, that's... Yes, that's the best restaurant. Would you like to come? Of course it is. Obina will remind you. Well, now to business. Soon the Balotnikovs will come here. Balotnikov are a very influential man and an old client of ours. Their son Sergei is accused of inciting the model Irina Zvonareva to suicide. How exactly? The thing is that a video appeared on the network where Sergei is having sex with this girl. The video was deleted. But they sent it to me. I'll send it to you right now. So when the video appeared on the network, Irina couldn't take it anymore and threw herself out the window. She couldn't stand the shame, so to speak. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. I'm not suggesting we watch it together. Makiev is in charge of the case. He thinks Sergei put the video online on purpose to drive the girl to suicide. Is there any proof? Yes, there is. We found correspondence in his phone where Sergei threatens to leak the video to Arena if she... If she? If she what? If she? You know what, Anya? Talk about it yourself in our conference room, okay? All right.
I don't even know what that means, inciting suicide. I still thought such articles could only be in movies. Unfortunately, Daniil Vladimirovic, this is quite a real crime. Well, yes, you wrote to her. But do you know how many young people write nasty things to each other? Yes, we don't have an ideal son. Yes, he's a fool. Yes, he does not think with his head. But even he has his limits. Well, at this point, I can only reassure you that I personally don't see the point in keeping Sergei in custody. Can you release him? Well, at least until the trial, I'll try. Let's start by testing the soil for acidity. Send Seni, and if your results are different from the ones we have, what will you do? How should I know, Borea? The main thing here is to understand how different they will be. People will drink this water, children will drink this water, and maybe yours will too. Why do we have to develop a well in this particular place? That's how I see it. There's an opportunity for a government contract. There's a time limit. And there is only the site for the well. That's what they're trying to shove. Boria, I understand everything, but I can't accept it. Hand me the can. Let's open it. Give me the tester. What's in it? Look at this. The chemistry is off the charts. No, it's nothing like the test we had before. You see this? Careful. Yes, it's true. We slept with Ira. Is that a crime? No, it's not a crime. We met at a party of mutual friends. We drank and had fun. Then I asked her to go to my parents' dacha. We had a good night and that was it. Which you decided to videotape. She wanted to make that stupid video herself. By herself. I didn't mind. What's the big deal? Then I got kind of attached to her. I don't know why, I was drawn to her like a magnet. What about her? She said it was a one-time thing. I'd rather we just stay friends. I'm not used to someone saying no to me. I started running after her like a fool. But I swear I didn't post that video. You think she threw herself out the window because of it? I don't know yet. Sergey, how did that video get on the internet? Whose phone was used to shoot it? On hers. She dumped it to me while we were still in bed. It's like a keepsake. I have that video on my phone, too, but I think it was uploaded from her phone. What makes you so sure? I always have mine on me. It's a habit. It's a man's thing. Okay. Borea, slow down here. What is it? Nothing, let's go. Sergei Makiev. Yes. Hello, my name is Anna Evleva. I represent the interests of Sergei Bolotnikov. Oh, you mean the golden boy. What do you want? 
I wanted to know on what grounds my client was detained. On the basis of the correspondence on the deceased's phone, on the basis of threats, which are classified as inciting to suicide. Yes, but there is no proof that it was Sergei who published this video. Okay. Not yet. And when they do, then delay them in the meantime. His involvement in Zvonareva's death is not at all obvious. You know what I'll tell you? I have a daughter growing up myself and more than anything. I wish she hadn't met such a scumbag on her way. I know what you mean. I'm a mother myself. But that doesn't mean that a man whose guilt is not proven should be behind bars. Well, his trial is tomorrow. And I'll prove that he's guilty. And you can prove otherwise. I will. I need a printout of Zvonerova and Balotnikov's correspondence. No problem. My assistant has it in room 226. Hello? Why didn't you tell me about this? What do you mean? Midya is my son, too, and I have a right to know about changes in his personal life. Sasha, what are you talking about? Midya has a girlfriend. I just happened to see them in a cafe. You didn't even bother to tell me about it. Am I so quickly becoming a nobody to you? Look, Midya has a girlfriend, and that's totally normal. In fact, I didn't know that either. If it makes you feel any better, Sasha, I'm sorry. I'm really busy right now. Anya! Anya! Hi. Hi. What's the occasion in our part of the world? I was at Makeev's for my new case. Makeev, yeah, Makeev is a tough guy. Yeah, I've noticed that. What's the case, if it's not a secret? It's no secret. Young guys accused of inciting the suicide of a young mistress. It's a lot of work. How about dinner tonight? You can tell me more about it. Pasha, I can't make it to the hearing tomorrow. But we can do it later. Great. I'll be in touch then. If you need any help, you're welcome. Pasha, I think you have a lot of work to do. Midya? Do you have a girlfriend? How do you know? Your father saw you at the cafe. Is she from the university? Did he start following us? No, it was an accident. Tell me about it. It's okay. She's a first-year student. What else is there to tell? What she likes. What her family's like. Mom, why do you keep asking me that? You got your hands full. Midya. Mama. I'm working. How do I know who's running the page? What do you need it for? A video was posted in this group that caused a girl to kill herself. Even so. Okay, now.
Lisa. Excuse me. Hello, can I talk to you for a few minutes? Yes, what do you need? I'm a lawyer. I'm handling the Sergei Bolotnikov case. Suicide by video. I'd like to know who might have posted that video. I have no idea. The video came in anonymously. I showed it to the police. Usually, IP addresses are traced, but apparently without success. Tell me, do you personally know Ira and Sergei in the video? But we've seen each other online a couple of times. We cross paths at the club with Ira. With whom she was friends and feuds you do not know. I don't know. But I wouldn't be surprised if she posted that video herself. Ira wasn't modest at all. She was always posting erotic pictures of herself online. Did you even see her account? No, it's blocked. Exactly. You haven't lost much. And if you had, you would have realized that she couldn't have committed suicide because of that video. Ira was willing to do anything to be popular. Okay, thank you. You helped me out. You're welcome. Watch this. This is your baby. What's the sex? Well, what's the sex at nine weeks? You are silly. I can tell you're doing great. You have a healthy embryo. Would you like to hear the heart? Can I? Of course you can. Is that a heart? First baby. No, it's not. But this is the first time I've seen such a miracle. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to take this. Just give me a second. My baby! Do you like it? I love it. Kira, I swear to you. I'll do anything to make this baby happy. They cut me out of my life. But I have this baby now. What about me? And you! So, given the material provided by the investigation, I believe it is illegal to hold my client in custody. Illegal? Are you kidding me? I'm basing this on the bare facts. And the facts are that the correspondence between your client and the victim contains direct threats. Read it out loud for all to hear. If that's not proof, I think that the threats are circumstantial evidence of the guilt of my defendant. There is no real evidence that it was Sergei Bolotnikov who published this video. So there is no corpus delicti. Your Honor, I believe it is inappropriate to hold my client in custody. I ask that he be released on his own reconnaissance pending the outcome of the investigation. The request is granted. Are you serious? Mr. Mickey, please remain calm in the courtroom. This session is adjourned. I'd like to see you if Spanerova was your daughter. How are you? You've lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Thank you, Anna. Anna, we really appreciate it. The subscription is a temporary measure. The investigator is hostile. We need to prepare for a tough trial, Sergei. I have an assignment for you. Look for pictures of Ira on social media. People say they weren't modest. I'll do it. Hi. Hi, sorry I'm late. This is the first time I've seen you in a suit. Growing up. Are you driving? No. What are you drinking? It's up to you. Excuse me. I'm sorry, it's a customer.
Thank you. Take a look at this. Beautiful. Bold. Dead girl. Yeah, how'd you know? That's the job. It's weird that a girl who puts up pictures like that would commit suicide over a video like that. Okay, I'm not gonna drag this out. This is for you instead of a present. There's a resource exchange involved, you can watch it at your leisure. Maybe you'll find something new. Oh, wow, that's interesting. And according to my records, she didn't have any family members. Her parents are dead. Turns out she has a sister, stepsister. Anya, I told you to look it up at your leisure. Let's have a quiet dinner. And tomorrow I'll help you sort out this love triangle. All right. Thank you very much. Come on. Team. Team. Kira! Katie, I'm home. Dear? I'm here. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Why are you so late? Did you have some business to take care of? Tell me. Do you still dream of having a car? Of course I do. It's not just a dream. It's a necessity for me and the baby. Think of it as a present. Don't jump. You'll wake the baby. Shall I open it? Who's there? Kira. Mom. Mom. Mommy. Hi. Hi. Mom, I'd like you to meet Sasha. He said I was going to have a car. Sasha, I'd like you to meet you with my mom. This is my mother, Elena Dmitrievna. Lena. Alexander. I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you my mom's coming. That's all right. It's very nice to meet you. Me too. Have you had dinner yet? No, not yet. I haven't had a chance to cook. Why don't we order sushi? What kind of sushi? I've made so many goodies. Girls, do you mind if I run to the shower for a few minutes? I just got here. Sure, Sasha, go ahead. Kira, help set the table. Okay. What a good man. I was right to talk you out of this abortion. You've made up nonsense. I don't know, Mom. It's just not my level. What level, suave, educated? He gives me a car, so he's rich. I don't know. We'll see. You are looking for me. Alina? Hello, my name is Anna Evleva. I'm a lawyer. How can I help you? I'm sorry for your loss. Yes. I still can't get over the fact that Ira is gone. I'm defending Sergei Balotnikov. He's your sister's ex-boyfriend. Ira is my half-sister. My mother died after she gave birth, and soon afterwards my father married Irina's mother. As far as I know, you started your modeling career together, and then you quit. Car accident. It wasn't that bad for life, but I had to give up my modeling career. Alina, are you aware of the video that was published on the internet? Yes. Can you can guess who might have published it? I don't know. Maybe whoever's in the video. Although I don't know him either. Tell me, was your sister suicidal? I don't know. Actually, you never know what to expect from her. I mean, you could expect anything. That's weird. When I hit a dead end, I come to you one way or another. Come. Always a pleasure. 
All right, tell me what you're up to. The victim is a beauty, a model. The only family member was a half-sister. She was also a model, but left her career because of an accident. Now she works as a trainer. The victim is promiscuous. One of the lovers is Sergei Bolotnikov. Golden child, but... Look, I found this incident. Spanerova Irina Pavlovna. The vehicle was driven by her half-sister. Irina Spanareva. Pavel Petrovich. Igor, I gave you a task yesterday to collect a file. Why didn't you include information about the accident? You yourself said it was urgent, so I gathered everything I could. My fault? Your fault? You can make it right. Yes. Ira was driving, and she was drunk. The accident was her fault. But since no one was injured, it was an administrative case. Can you print me those files? Sure. What else can I do for you? I don't know. Any tips? Try getting a warrant to search her apartment again. See if the operatives missed anything. You think I can do a better job than an experienced task force? Why not? You have fresh eyes, professionalism, talent after all. Hi, mom. Hi, son, Midia, be careful. What do you mean? Sorry, I'm under the impression after work. It's just that so much trouble happens when people lose their head in a relationship. Okay. Take care of yourself, okay? Mom, shall we have dinner? Dinner, let's go. Did you have to yank me out this morning? Sergei Vladimirovic, the trial is coming up. Every minute is precious to me. I don't know what else you want to see in this apartment. Please. We haven't touched anything here. Everything is as it is, the owners aren't renting it out yet. They want a priest to consecrate it. She was at the same club where her sister works. Did you see everything there? Yeah. I saw him in pictures of Alina, half-sister of Ira. Put it on the case. Okay. I need the results of the fingerprints on the pendant. We'll do it. Tell me who found the body. The upstairs neighbor. I think her name is Inna. She was walking home from her guests. We already questioned her. 
Shall we? Yes. Inna. Hello. Hello. Hello, my name is Anna Evleva. I'm a lawyer. I wanted to ask you some questions about Ira Zvonarova. Do you mind? I already told you everything. Walked across the yard at night. I tripped over a body. Ira was already lying there on the grass. It was horrible. I understand. Tell me, have you seen this girl? Yes, that's Alina, Ira's sister. Did she come here often? No, I've seen her a couple of times. But this guy's been here a lot. How often? A lot. They had parties there. The music was loud. Tell me, do you think there was anything going on between him and Ira? I don't think. I know. I see. Inna, if you don't mind showing me exactly where you found the body. Inna, thank you. You have helped me a lot. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's great. That's the second piece of the puzzle. Look, Ivlev, how do you even live with a father like that? What do you mean? They say he sleeps with college girls. Or is that normal for you? Fuck you. Listen, maybe that's the way it is with you guys and you'll follow in his footsteps too. And I know why you don't have a girlfriend, for you. Everyone at university is old. Yours hasn't been born yet. Actually, I have a girlfriend. Who's that? Hello, is there anything I can tell you? Hello, you had a client here. Irina Svonareva, your instructor, Elena's sister. Do you remember who she trained with? Lesha Reshetny, a couple times a week. Tell me, is it possible to communicate with him? He's in personal training right now, but I think we'll be able to talk to him in an hour. That's great, thank you. You're welcome. Is that you again? Alina, did you know that your boyfriend used to visit Ira a lot? By the way, do you know where he was when Ira fell? This is outrageous. Leave Lesha alone. I don't want to see you here anymore, and I don't want to talk about my dead sister either, okay? Where's your pendant, the one shaped like a crown? Why did you stop wearing it? If you don't leave now, I'll call security. Hello, Pasha. I think her sister or her boyfriend is responsible for the girl's death. I'm at the health club. We have to keep them from getting away. Yeah, I'll meet you at the exit. Hi. Hi. It seems that the wrong Kai was accused of leaking the video. A neighbor said that Ira had been visited by her trainer for a long time. For a long time and fruitfully, apparently he didn't know there were others besides him. 
and when he saw the video, he turned on Othello and the sister. I don't know yet, but I found her necklace in Ira's apartment. Are they here? They haven't come out yet. Guys, hurry up! Michia. Well done, Ivlev! Give me a pass. Try harder. You don't have a girlfriend, okay? Why did you do that? Rukalka, are you crazy? Mitya, how are you? Mitya. Can you get up? Mitya, Mitya. Max, call an ambulance quickly. I think I know where they're going. Today, I found the necklace at the scene of Iris' fall. Today, I told Alina about the pendant. If they're really to blame, they're going to look for that necklace. Got it. Hello? Yeah, that's me. What? I got it. I'll be right there. What's up? Midya got injured at practice. It's something serious. He's in the hospital. Okay, I'll drop you off. Pick a cab and go to your son. I'll see to it myself and let Mikiv know. Midia, what's happened? Mom, it's okay, I'm fine. How did this happen? We were practicing, I fell. Oh, son. Don't say anything. We'll get through this. We'll get through this together. Be patient. Be patient. My darling. Isn't that what you're looking for? You are detained on suspicion of the murder of Arena Sponareva. Valia! Add painkillers for Evlev. Excuse me. Are you a mother? Yes. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yes, of course. I'm not going to hide it. The situation is not simple. We suspect a rupture of the joint capsule in the spine. We're going to run some more tests today to see how serious it is. I'll be able to tell you the rest tomorrow. I'll stay with him tonight. It doesn't make sense. We'll give him something for the pain. And he'll sleep through the night. Anya. Has Mijia? They said everything would be clearer tomorrow. What have you got? They're both in custody. Mikiv is good. He worked fast. 
He's questioning them now. Take me to the station. All right, let's go. Dear children, my dear children, you have my blessing. Be happy. I do not drink, but as a formality, I will raise a glass. Okay. Thank you. That's what I wanted to say. Because I was planning to give a gift to Kira. Because I was planning to give it to Kira. But by a happy coincidence, you, Elena Dmitrievna, were with us today. Just Lena. I'm still. I'm sorry. Yes, hello? Yes. Where is he? I'll be right there. Sasha, is everything all right? I'm sorry, I have to go. You promised. And the present, excuse me, please. Shall we see? Mom. <laughs> Lesha had nothing to do with it. I pushed her myself. She ruined my life. First she took away my father's love, then my modeling career. Then she wanted my boyfriend. When the video went viral, she didn't have the guts. Why did you do that? Your actions have consequences. You are a loser. Here's another video. You suck. I knew she was sleeping with Lesha. I'm not blind. So where is she? Maybe he didn't park it here. Mom, let's check it out. Well, mommy. Mommy, mommy. Your Honor, I request that Investigator Makiev be given the floor. He is in charge of the case of Sergei Balitnikov. Please. As a result of investigative actions, it was found that the death of Irina Spanerova was hereditary. Thanks to lawyer and Evleva, a suspect involved in this was identified. This turned out to be Alina Svonareva, Irina's half-sister. She has already given a confession. Therefore, as the investigator in charge of the case, I ask that all charges against Sergei Bolotnikov be dropped. The charges against Sergei Bolotnikov are dropped. 
The secretary will set the date of the hearing on the new case. Anna. I hope you're not mad at me. I just got very emotional about the case. I just care about our children. Yeah, I understand. It's okay. Good luck to you. Thank you. Stay down, stay down, don't get up. What are you doing here? I wanted to see you. Maybe I... I know exactly what you think of me. Can I just be with you today? I don't want to talk to you, just go. Okay, that's okay. I'll try other channels. Okay, bye. What are you trying to get through? Don't worry about it. You've got enough problems as it is. Before I hear a diagnosis from a doctor, I'm ready to be distracted by other people's problems. What's wrong? My assistant. Igor, you saw him. He's young. His childhood friend turned to him. And her grandmother died. The grandmother has property and apartment in the center. Her granddaughter was supposed to inherit it. But before she died, she signed it over to some strange woman. A black realtor. I'm thinking about this version. I'm trying to assess the legality of the transaction. So far, no luck. When I'm at work, I can pull up the information in the database. I'd appreciate you. And this girl can call me tonight. I'll let her know. Unless, of course, Midia will be fine. Anya, of course it's gonna be okay. Hello, son. Hi. What aren't you eating? I brought you some more fruit. Mom, why did he come? Was Daddy here? He came because he's your father, regardless of my relationship with him. Tell him not to come here anymore, okay? No, Midia, I can't say that, and believe me, he worries a lot. Anna and drive now. Hello? I was just about to call you. The test results came back. The prognosis is optimistic. But rehabilitation will be necessary. How long will it take? I just have a big game coming up. Three months? That's about right. I got a month tops. I can't miss this game. Have you ever heard of Dr. Granovsky? No. We're ready to make the best of it. Good. If there's a place to get a guy back on his feet fast, it's Granovsky's. But it's going to cost a lot of money. I see. Thank you very much. Mom. Where are we going to get the money? I'll try to get a loan from work. 
My boss is kind of loyal, he should be okay with it. Don't worry, it'll be fine. You be careful, you haven't been driving that long. It takes half an hour to get to the station. Are you catch a train? I'm on time. I should have stayed longer. It worries me to leave you with your Sasha. You're already worried. And at first you said, what a beautiful man. So you said he was getting a divorce, and it turns out he's not even planning to. Just imagine, as soon as his wife called, he ran away. He didn't sleep at home at night. He didn't come to see me off. I don't know what happened to him. His wife is old and boring. And I'm young and beautiful. That's true. But it's an established family. Look, Kira, don't let him go back to her. He won't. Mom, they don't want him there. That's what he told me. Don't worry, Mom. I'm his family now. Oh, Kira, be on your guard. You know, if he snapped like that at a big moment like this, it means one thing, they're more important to him than you. The car is a good thing. Anya, good evening. Good evening. Sorry I'm late. Have you seat. Is your partner not a match yet? No, we'll be alone tonight. I don't know if we're lucky. Lev Dvitryevic has an important client today. But you know, I think it's not so bad. I can get to know you better. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Especially since I'm having a serious conversation with you, even a personal request. Would you like a drink? Green tea, if I may. Mark of Genuvik, the usual. And bring me an Anna Andrew a bottle of sparkling wine. No thanks, I'm driving. In that case, we'll have boring tea, and we'll think about food. Good. You look beautiful. Thank you. Anya, I won't hide it from you. I like you. I like your work attitude. I think you have a serious future in our company. If that's true, I'd like to ask you. Ask. Be brave. We have a great future together. I certainly hope so. You know what? I have a plan. We're going to have dinner. The tuna tartar here, by the way, is amazing. I recommend it. And then I'll show you Christensen's painting. He's this trendy Belgian painter. In some gallery. Why do we need a gallery? I've got it. At home? Yes. Are you suggesting I go to your house? That's exactly what I'm suggesting. In fact, we can discuss there your request or whatever it is you have. You don't mind, do you? Mark Yevinyevic. I've really enjoyed working for your company, but I'd like to keep a professional distance with you. Does that preclude a friendly visit? It does. <clears throat> Anya, I don't think you understand what I'm offering you. Friendship with me can help your career not only in our company, it's not far-sighted to refuse a man like me. And yet I will refuse. If you'll excuse me, I have to go.
Don't you want to explain anything to me? I ran out of dinner last night, didn't see my mother off today. Midya was injured at practice yesterday. Anya called yesterday. I had to leave urgently. My mom told me that it was connected. How is he? He felt badly. His spine. But it's okay. I don't know. It's terrible. Have you been with him all this time? Well, you see what a wonderful father you are. The baby and I are so lucky. I'm sorry, Masha, but the deal looks perfectly legal. Why? Why did my grandmother sign over the apartment not to me, but to this Ala? Do you even know who she is, Ala Kalieva? Her social worker. She took care of Grandma. I left three years ago to study in Barcelona. I got a scholarship. And before that, you lived in this apartment? All my life. It's our family nest. Mom and Dad used to live there. Then they were gone when I was 10. Since then, it's just me and my grandmother. When you left, did you call your grandmother? Of course I did. Stable. Once a month at least. At some point, Grandma started complaining about her health. I offered to take a leave of absence and come over. She didn't want to. She told me to stay and study, that she was helped by a social worker. Good girl, Allah. And you didn't suspect anything then? What's there to suspect? It's just an ordinary social worker. Then the grandmother stopped picking up the phone. I thought that maybe there was something wrong with the phone. Weren't you worried? You didn't call the neighbors. Our neighbors aren't contactable. I don't know anybody. They just moved in a year ago. Three months later, I heard from a distant acquaintance that my grandmother was gone. And they came right away. Yes, I did. It turns out that the heiress is no longer me, but this Allah. I opened the door to the apartment. The alarm was screaming. Men with machine guns arrived. Almost killed me. Where do you live now? At a friend's house. The guards say you have to prove ownership to get into the apartment. I don't even own the place anymore. Have you even seen this Allah? I have no idea where to find her. I went to my childhood friend. He's a policeman. I wanted him to help. Yeah, Masha. You should have called your grandmother more often. I'll soon contest the will. Will you be my lawyer? I'm not ready yet. Go for it. I don't have anyone else to go to. I understand, but I need time to make a decision. I need to talk to the notary who did the deal with your neighbors. Okay. I'll be waiting. I'll be in touch. I'll take the documents with me. Thank you. See you later. Goodbye. Excuse me, I'm a lawyer. Could you talk to me? Yes. Thank you very much. No one wants to talk to me. Really, there are uncontacted people in your house. It's that kind of time. What do you want? I wanted to know about the late Svetlana Vladimirovna Glubova, apartment 25, third floor. I work at the request of her granddaughter. Did you know her? I saw the grandmother, but I don't know her granddaughter. 
Tell me, did you have any contact with her long before she died? Once in a while, she'd been very strange lately, some kind of problem with her head. What do you mean? I go home one day, and she's standing right where we are. It's freezing outside, and she's wearing slippers. Suddenly, she sees my little one, and she's laughing. And then she says, how my granddaughter has grown. Have you seen her social worker? No. I often saw her doctors. She had a car from a private clinic that came a lot. Do you remember the name? Yes, home doctor. I remember making a joke. How do you order a home doctor on your pension? Mom, let's go. Oh, wait. And she says the social worker pays for it. That's what I thought was weird, too. A caregiver paying for an old lady to go to a private clinic. Mom, let's go. Okay, we'll go. Thank you. The deal wasn't in the office. I had to make a house call. It's normal practice with us notaries. And who called you to do the paperwork? She did. The successor, Alakalieva. Weren't you surprised that Glubova is not assigning the apartment to her own granddaughter, but to a stranger? Surprised. But it happens. The granddaughter, as I understand it, did not take care of her grandmother, and she had to ask for help from a stranger. And how did she feel, Svetlana Glebovna? If she couldn't come to the notary herself, maybe. What are you talking about? If I had noticed something like that, I would never. An ordinary grandmother. Yes. I have different information. She was confused about reality and didn't recognize people. You couldn't have missed that. Don't scare me. Yeah, she was weak. Silent. Maybe she was sick. I told her I couldn't probate a will from someone in that condition. But the heir showed me her certificates, which indicated that grandmother was in good mental health. What was I supposed to believe? Subjective impression or official documents? Anyway, the old lady was out of her mind, although according to the certificates, everything was fine. She was treated at an expensive private clinic, paid for by her social worker. In general, Igor, your friend has reason to contest the will. But I don't have any proof yet. Thank you. Thank you. You took our case so seriously. That's unexpected. I didn't expect it myself. I guess I want to take my mind off my problems. In fact, we should go to that private clinic where they gave her the certificate. Thank you. I'll be sure to help you. I'll go with you. Wait, Igor. I do not know what kind of relationship you have with this Masha, but do not forget about your duties. I just wanted to help Anna Andrina. I will help. I hope you don't mind. Understood. If you understand, do it. Hello, can I help you? We need the name of the therapist who took Svetlana Glebova. I'm sorry, who are you? Investigator Rudenko. Listen, this Kalieva is a nurse of mercy since she paid Glebova's bills. Prices here are not at all for pensioners. She was taken by Dr. Slepsev. Come on, I'll show you. So, Glebova. There is one, yes. Svetlana Vladimirovna. I remember her. What did she complain about? All at once. General Malays. Tell me, did she have any mental disabilities? I don't remember her personally. We treated her for a year. All her vitals were normal. Printed out. Yes, if I may. And how did Glebova end up in your clinic? I don't have that information. My job is to treat. That is correct. And what doctor did she see before you? I do not know. 
probably the wound clinic. Klobova. Yes, I remember. She came to see me a long time ago. She was worried about insomnia and memory loss. Were you able to diagnose her? You can't just diagnose her like that. It sounded to me like dementia. I gave her a referral for an evaluation at the psychoneurological dispensary. She never came to see me again. I need her medical records urgently. Luda. There's a lady here asking for the medical records of Klobova, who died recently. I'll make all the official inquiries. Just find out if it exists. Right. How could I forget? I forgot. We had a recent flood in the archives. We had a couple hundred medical records simmering in hot water all night. Let's just say there's no Gleb's chart. You don't even have to request one. I went straight to work. I did some research. Officially as a social worker, Ala Kalieva is not listed anywhere. There is no such social worker. Volunteer, can we find her? I've already found her. She resides in the city of Delinka. Here's a copy of her passport. I asked a local police officer to check her address. He said that Kalieva lives at her registered address and is not hiding from anyone. It's not her. What does that mean? Here's a copy of the passport I obtained from the notary. Two different women, but the same name. Date of birth, month and date. Tomorrow, I will initiate a criminal case for fraud. Hello? Here mom comes. Good evening. Good evening. I called Granovsky. He said he has a spot available. They're ready to accept the guy soon, but they require a prepayment. Of course. Here's the invoice. Everything is written there. If you have any questions, ask. This is the end. We won't be able to pay such an amount. I won't participate in the tournament. I'll miss a year. And my sports career can be forgotten. Wait, Midia. I'll find the money. That much, Mom. Anya, I've obtained information about Kalieva. Any news? It turns out that two more apartments in Delinka are registered under the same documents as Kalieva's, which were with the notary. Just like in the case of our grandmother, they were immediately transferred through inheritance. It seems that these scoundrels have made a business out of seizing apartments. We need to find out if their owners are deceased. To do that, we need to go to Delinka. I'm a hundred kilometers away from there. I need to go to the bank tomorrow morning, then I'm ready to go with you. Great, then I'll pick you up in the morning. All right, bye for now. Goodbye. Good afternoon. I need to pay this bill from our family savings. All right. Your passport, please. There are insufficient funds in your account to make the payment. What do you mean? I see that a large transaction was made from your account a couple of days ago. Who made the transaction? Alexander Alexandrovich Evlev. Almost all the money was withdrawn.
Hello, did you call? Yes, I did. You make me think that I made a mistake in choosing an employee. I somehow thought that we wouldn't have any problems. But then I find out that instead of signing the agreement that we have already prepared, Instead, I decided to conduct a reanalysis. This well can be very dangerous. This well is a gold mine. The company can reach a new level now. Do you understand that this is a government contract? I've worked hard for this. I've built connections. I've searched for information. And I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. I understand. So what's the problem? What's the problem? All I need from you is a signature. That's it. I see. If it's clear, you still have two days. If you don't sign, then we part ways. You leave here without severance pay. Got it? Can I go? Go. Hello? Anya, I'm sorry. I couldn't talk. What happened? I was just at the bank. You withdrew all the money from the personal account. Yes, I needed it urgently. What do you mean, you needed it? We saved it for Midia's education. It was an untouchable account. And before accessing it, you should have consulted with me. But I'll return it. Eventually. There's no time, Sasha. It's urgent. The money is needed for Midia's rehabilitation. I understand. How much? Almost as much as you withdrew. I know it's a large sum, but Midia's condition is more important right now. Yes, I understand. When do you need the money? Today. The deadline is tomorrow. Listen, I'm afraid I won't be able to do it that quickly. Damn. Anya! Anya, I'll solve the money problems. I don't know what to do, Pasha, I don't know. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What can I help you with? My name is Anna Evleva. I'm a lawyer. I'm interested in your neighbor, Valentina Valiva. Here in your building, Ivan Fedorkic used to live. He passed away last year. He was mentally unstable before he died. What do you mean by mentally unstable? He had some issues with his mind. Did he have any relatives who helped him? Only Allah used to help him. Who is Allah? She was his caregiver, a social worker, a nice girl. And who are you? A relative. What kind of relative? A distant one. She lost her mind towards the end of her life. I felt sorry for her as a human being. Tell me, did anyone help her? Yes, there was a girl who used to come here. I don't remember her name. Could it be Allah? Exactly, Allah. Let me check on the other shelf. Remind me of the surnames. Ivan Fedorkic and Valentina Valeva. All right. It seems to be the same scheme. They had no relatives, no one to contest the will. Yes, and people with dementia are easily influenced and prone to paranoia. Most likely, Polyeva manipulated them completely and at the opportune moment, she presented a blank sheet of paper for their signatures. Here are their medical records. Here's Valeva's. 
Hold on. And here's Fader Jix. Can you check who their assigned general practitioner was? Just a moment. Slaps of. Well, then it's clear. These medical records don't even need to be examined. They'll show that they were perfectly healthy. And Slepsev no longer works here. He moved to the capital. He was offered a position in a private clinic there. Tell me, does Alakaliva work here? Of course, on the third floor. Hold on. Which one is she? This one. And this one is Ludmila Slepsova, the wife of Seaman Slepsov. She also used to work here. She left with him to the capital. Perhaps she's working as a nurse somewhere. Thank you. You're welcome. It goes like this. Slepsov picked out lonely old people with dementia at the reception. But he did not write the diagnosis in the medical records, so that he could not challenge the will due to the disease. And then he sent his wife to them, who introduced herself as a social worker a la. Well, yes. Personally, the story is clear to me. I'm gonna go down to the department and get a warrant, and arrest them both. Pasha. Fucking hell. I got a flat tire, a nail or something. I'll put a spare tire on it. But we won't make it to town with it. We'll have to find a tire shop. Kira. Kira, wait, let's talk. I know you're pregnant. You do? Julia told you? It doesn't matter. The important thing is that I loved you. And you were. Yeah. You got that right. I chose the one I wanted. But why? How did you imagine it? That I'd move into your dorm? Or how you imagined our future? I'm expecting a baby. I'd be with a man who could provide for me. I want my baby to have everything. Or at least as much as possible. Hello. The wheel went down. Nail? Probably drove on a spare tire. I can't make it today. We're closing already. Commander, help me out. I need to get into town right away. And I have to go to my wife's birthday party. Sorry, man. I'm already two hours late. She's gonna kill me. Yeah, a wife is a sacred thing. There's a hotel nearby. Stay there for the night. In the morning. You come over and I'll fix it. What time in the morning? About 9 o'clock am. I think I can do it. What kind of day is it today? Anya. The day's over anyway. And the issue with the clinic will be solved tomorrow anyway. Until then I need to solve the issue with money. We'll solve it tomorrow. I'll help you with the money. Forget about it. At least for one night. I guess I don't have a choice. Yes. 
Hi. May I? Come in. I came to apologize. You understand me. I have to be on my guard. If somebody hurts Nika, I'm a brother. After what Max said about your father, I don't want to talk about it. I can't forgive him myself. I even stopped talking to him after that. I see. And our father died. If he were alive, nothing or no one would make me stop talking to him. I mean, he's a father, he's always. Okay. Are you okay? When are you coming back? Something serious. No, it's nothing. I'll be back for practice soon. Come on, we're waiting for you. Hi. Oh, Nika. Come on in, we talked and I was wrong. Yeah. I'll wait there for you. Good evening. Good evening. Young lady, we need two single rooms for one night. Are there any rooms available? Your passports. We only pay in cash. Young lady, I only have a card. I have cash. Only enough for one room. Shall I put you in a one room? Knock, knock. How happy I am, Anya. That the case is almost solved. That the wheel has been punctured, that they have the same number. How happy I am to have you back in my life again. I can't speak beautifully. You know. I know. Janady Petrovich, may I have a word with you? Sit down.
Can the company lend me some money? You know, if love, the company only lends money to loyal employees. And you. And I, that's me, Jenna. What's wrong? My son, Mitya. He has a serious injury and needs urgent rehabilitation. When disaster strikes, principles take second place. I violated my principles in no less serious matters. So? I'll sign everything. All right. Then, the company will give you a loan. Thank you. Take two tablets three times a day. You will be fine. Citizen Slepsev? You are detained on suspicion of fraud on a large scale. You're entitled to one phone call and a lawyer. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. When lonely old people die, their apartments go to the state. This is unfair. Why? Because we state employees get such salaries from this state that we can barely survive. That's how this idea came about. We didn't want to disinherit anyone. We thought that Glebova's granddaughter wouldn't come back. Why didn't you sell the apartments? As long as three years have passed since the inheritance, such apartments can be sold. They start checking the documents. Dig through everything. We should apologize to Kalieva. It's not nice. Hello, Svetlana Vladimirovna. I'm from Social Services. Come in. You've come at the right time. Don't you want to apologize to the old people you deceived? They died happy in my arms because they felt cared for. Stop. Pasha, what are you doing here? You can rest now. Lucky Masha will soon inherit her grandmother's apartment. And you don't answer her calls. This is for you. Yeah, I'm not answering. Been busy. I've been trying to find the money. Here you go. There, money for Midya's treatment. No, Pasha, I can't take it. It's out of the question. I can't take it. That's an order. Anya, Anya, Anya. Here's the money. Forgive me? Thank you, Sasha. Thank you for solving it so quickly. Have you been to Midia's? No. I think I'll go. He needs time to accept me. I don't want to spoil his mood. Hi, Mom. Hi. Are you back? Yes. I still haven't been transferred to rehabilitation. Is it because of the money? If we can't afford the treatment, I get it. Really? Don't worry. Some difficulties have arisen. But it's okay now. 
months. On Monday, the therapy will start. Your dad has made up his mind. Good afternoon. Come in. Anna, meet. This is Igor Tabaknik. He's the director of Sides of the World. They're in the trucking business. Nice to meet you. Me too. Igor's older brother, Mikhail Tabaknik, who is also the CEO of the company, is the founder of Sides of the World. This morning, the police came to Mikhail's house. There were no charges, but to all appearances, he is accused or rather suspected of murdering businessman Andrei Gurbanov, the director of the competitor's company. Only formally, the companies were competitors. In fact, Misha and Andrei were negotiating a merger between the two companies. This was absolutely beneficial for both parties. What went wrong? I doubt it. The deal was almost done. All that was left to do was fill out the paperwork. If there's no charge, why are you here? Our shareholders are nervous. And we need to prove Misha wasn't involved. It would be better for everyone if this case doesn't make a lot of noise. Pasha, hi. Hi. Returning, thank you, but I didn't need the money in the end. Yeah. Midia's father found the right purse. Whatever you say. How's Midia? Moves to the Granovsky Clinic. Hi. Anya. Did I do something to offend you? No. Shall we have some coffee? Not right now. I have a new client. I'm on my way to meet him. Do you need any help? I don't know yet. I'm free tonight. Would you like to have dinner? Maybe I do. Who are you? Hello. I am a lawyer. I was hired by your brother, Agor. Why do I need a lawyer? I'm not accused of anything. Just because there's no case against you doesn't mean you're not a suspect. I don't want to talk to you. Not to you, not to anyone else. Your brother hired me, and he's the only one who can terminate the contract. That's why I'm staying on as your lawyer and doing my job. Do whatever you want. Do you know where your husband was last night? He wasn't at home, that's for sure. Does he often work late? He can be. He doesn't report to me. He doesn't answer to me. Thank you. You know, I'd like to tell you that Misha couldn't have killed Gurbanov. I'll leave you my card. If Mikhail wants to talk to me, he can call me. 
Thank you. Goodbye. Anybody there? Hello. Who are you here to see? Hello, is this Andrei Gurbanov's office? Andrei Sargevic is dead. I know. I'm Mikhail Tevichnik's lawyer, Anna Avlava. Nice to meet you, Alexei. I worked as an assistant for the deceased. What's going on here? Is the office closing? Andrei Nikolaevich is gone and who will take over the company is unknown. There's no director, so there's no one to pay salaries. So everyone left. I see. Thank you. What was his relationship with Mikhail Tabaknik? Normal, I guess. I would even say that they were friendly. The only pity was that the deal didn't go through. It was very profitable for everybody. Tabaknik was unlucky, it didn't go through. Gurbanov was even less lucky. That's true, but... But we would have become the biggest logistics company in the city. Together with Storon and Misveda, we would have taken 50% of the market. And Polis would have rubbed off with its ambitions. Polis? I've heard of them. They have ads on every poll. I keep telling you, old Vladimirovic is busy. I get it. Can you make an appointment for me? I told you he wouldn't talk to you. The thing is, if Oleg Vladimirovich doesn't want to talk to me voluntarily, I'll have to take a subpoena to court, and also the refusal to cooperate will be taken into account. Don't scare us. What is the matter? Hello, are you Oleg Vladimirovich? Yes, what do you want? My name is Anna Evleva. I am a lawyer. I would like to ask you a few questions. What are the problems? Come in. Tea, coffee? No, thank you. It's about Gurbanov's death. Yes, I've heard that before. You're so calm about it. I'll be honest with you. Gurbanov's death did not upset me. We are not colleagues, not friends. I was practically unfamiliar with him. So I do not see a reason to make a drama on this occasion. Oleg Vladimirovich, as far as I know after merging of Gurbanov's company with Sides of the World, they could make serious competition to you. I beg you. We are not equal to each other. Gurbanov and Tabaknik are not my competitors. Why? People like these usually drown themselves. They did not have time to sign a merger agreement and already they do not share something. Either business or money. Or a woman. Don't get any ideas. It's not gossip. A hundred people saw their quarrel last week at the Industrial Expo. Somebody even sent me a video. If I have time, I'll send it to you. See for yourself? Yeah, that would be really good. I'll leave you my card. All right. If that's all, I have a lot of work to do. Yes, thank you. Have a nice day. Keep an eye on her. All right. I told you she was mine. Leave her alone. Here we go again. Leave her alone. Don't you understand human language? Hands off. What did you say? Who are you?
It's not a clinic, it's a five-star hotel, mom. They feed you five times a day. The internet works amazingly well. Even the bed can be controlled by remote control. Watch this. And all these wires and sensors. I feel like an astronaut. An astronaut. So I've been looking for this thing all morning for nothing. No. Thank you very much. I'll plug it in and play between practices. Do they give pies here? A girl brought these. When are you gonna introduce us? Not all at once, Mom. Okay. Okay. Astronaut. I didn't think training was be every eventing. Isn't that a lot of pressure? It's fine. The instructor says I can run in two weeks. I hope I can recover in time for the championship. Thanks, Mom, for finding a rehab option in such a cool place. That's a credit to my dad, too. Yeah, I know. He hasn't been here in a while. Sasha, I really like it here. I'm so glad to be invited here with my wives. Can you hear me? I apologize, just five minutes of your attention. Good evening, dear friends, esteemed colleagues. It is maddeningly difficult to put into words how pleased I am to share this news with you. We won the tender for the government order. Now kindergartens in several regions will receive exactly our water. Our water is from our new well. Dear friends, we are now not just a company but a serious player in the market. I am grateful to everyone who had a hand in this and let's celebrate this momentous event with dignity. Let's have a blast. Friends, congratulations. Thank you. What's wrong? Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> You hid such beauty from us. I envy you. Have a rest. Sasha, why are you doing this to your boss? You could get fired the same way. Kira! I'll be right back. Boria, can I talk to you for a minute? Tell me, please, how did this happen? Why did they approve us so quickly? They didn't check anything. So what surprised you so much? You signed everything yourself. That's how I live. It's cozy. This is how I cook. It's beautiful. I wish I could make you feel good. Do you know who your brother is talking about in the video? I'm afraid I can't help you. That's too bad. 
The thing is, Mikhail has no alibi, he refuses to talk to me. Maybe Michael has friends who know. There was one place Mika used to go a lot. But it's better if it stays between us. Yeah, he used to come here a lot. Every Wednesday and Friday. Those particular days. Yes, those days Marina, our dancer, worked on those days. He would order a private dance from her, then go to her place. But it's not official. Of course, you're not with the police, are you? Tell me, can I talk to Marina? No. She quit a week ago. I can write down her number and address. Yes, please. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Why did we come here? Why did you make this appointment yourself? Did I say I was ready to buy an apartment? Actually, you did. Actually, we talked about it in general, not about buying it now. I can't right now. Take out a loan. I can't. I'm going through a lot of uncertainty at work right now. That's a lie. I heard what your boss is saying. He said you're doing great. Well, did you get acquainted? Yes. This layout is perfect for a family. It's spacious, two separate bedrooms, spacious kitchen. When's the house due? It's already under construction. We have all the apartments with turnkey renovation. In three months, the apartment will be ready. So move in and live. Tell me, aren't there any other options a little cheaper? That's if you're looking at one-bedroom apartments. No, one-bedrooms don't work for us. Why not? The child has to have his own room. Think about it. But these apartments don't last long. As soon as you think of it, you can take it. Thank you. Hello? Hello! Excuse me, have you seen the girl from this apartment? Who are you? I'm a lawyer. I need to talk to her right away. She quit her job and won't answer her phone. I haven't seen her in a while. I've been out of town. She just got back, just 10 minutes ago. Tell me, does the dog always whine like that? That's strange. Bonnie's always so calm. Maybe she's sick. Ivan, how long have you seen our Marina? She's lucky I haven't seen her. If I see her, I don't know what I'll do to her. Why are you so angry? Can't you hear? It's been howling for three days. If you see Marina, tell her to calm the dog down. Or I'll shoot her. Calm down. He'll shoot. Couldn't Marina go somewhere for three days? Leave Bonnie alone. No way. Do you think something happened to Marina? I hope not. You know, I have keys to the apartment. When Marina leaves, I feed Bonnie and water the flowers. Wait! Let me go in first. Bonnie! Bony, my girl, where are you? Come over here. I'll feed you, Bonnie.
Preliminary death occurred three days ago. The medical examiner will find out later what time it was. It looks like an overdose. It can't be. I can tell the difference between addicts. We got a yard full of them. But Marine is not like that. We'll find out. Just don't worry. I don't understand, what are you still thinking about? It's a super bargain, you can't find an apartment like this anywhere else for that kind of money. Or do you want me and the baby to live in rented apartments? Kira, it's expensive. I don't know how to print money. I thought you said you could get a loan from work. I did. You did? Yes. With what? For Mitty's treatment. I see. Mom was right. Are you okay? I'm fine. You sure? I'm not used to seeing dead people, to be honest. What does forensics say? Death occurred three days ago. Looks like an overdose. But we'll have to check that out. So Tabaknik's mistress and his business partner die on the same day. Do you think Tabaknik is talking about Marina in the video I sent you? I don't know yet. But we need to find out if Marina knew Gurbanov. There's a store in the yard. There are two video cameras on it. The top one should have a view of the entrance. If the videos are still there, we'll get the footage from that day. There are photos on the fridge. There's Marina with a girl I saw today from the strip bar. Friends or something? You don't have to dance. Okay. I would like to talk to you about your friend Marina Soshnik. What's there to talk about? I'm interested in why she quit her job. And what do you know about her regular client, Mikhail Tabaknikov? If you keep quiet, I'll have to bring you in for questioning. In this way, no one will know about our private conversation. All right, I'll dance because there are cameras everywhere. Cameras at a strip club. They're for the security guards to keep the customers' hands to themselves. I see. Misha used to come here. He had a crush on Marina. He fell in love with her. He even offered her to quit her job and become his concubine. But Marina refused. Did she have someone else? I don't think so. But a couple of weeks ago, Mishu came here with his friend Andre, and this Andrew had a crush on her too. She caught a star that two people were already hitting on her. And then he offered her some kind of secret job. This Andrew. That's him. What kind of job? I told you it was a secret job. Marina didn't tell anyone about it. Then she quit and we stopped talking. And Mikhail or Andre didn't come in here anymore. Misha came by once, looking for Marina. He didn't know his friend stole her. And then he stopped coming. I see, thank you.
Good morning. I decided to get up early today. How are you feeling? Are you feeling okay? Are you angry? I see you don't want to talk to me. Kira, you're a big girl. You know you can't have everything after the word I want. Especially when it comes to buying an expensive apartment. Okay. I'll run. I've got to get home. Where to? I'm at home to Anna and Midya. I see. Wait. I have to go over there to get the documents I need to reissue the loan that I... That you took out for them. If I didn't have to buy you a car, I wouldn't have taken it. Of course you wouldn't. For me, you're sorry about the apartment and the car, too. You do everything for them right. I don't want to continue this conversation. Have a nice day. Good morning. Good morning. My shirt looks good on you. You're making something delicious again. Coffee. Yes. There will be a report on the Sashnik apartment this morning. You know that Gurbanov stole a mistress from Tabaknik. Tabachnik got angry. Do you think he could kill them both out of jealousy? There's no direct evidence. But it's a possibility that needs to be worked out. I'll go talk to this Tabaknik today. Maybe he'll tell me something. Pashed, don't be scared. It's me. You're not alone. Hello, Rita. Hello, I'm Rita, Pavel's wife, ex wife. Anna, lawyer. Sorry to interrupt. That's okay, I was just leaving. I'm sorry. I really didn't think I was interrupting. Would you pour me a coffee? What are you doing here? I've only been in town a couple days. I thought I'd surprise you. I opened the door with my key because I thought you were still asleep. Usually you get a phone call. I thought you'd be happy. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Hi. You didn't come home last night. What are you doing here? I popped in for a minute to get my paperwork for work. How's your new job?
I made a mistake going there. Why do you do that? What I did gets worse and worse every time. I've lost respect in my own eyes. And most importantly, I have absolutely no one to tell. Anya. Anya. It's a good thing we're not together. I don't deserve you. Be happy. And remember that for you and Midi, I'd do anything. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. What are you rehearsing? Getting ready for the basketball competition. All the groupies are participating. By the way, do you know if Evlev Jr. will be back for the game? I don't know. What's that got to do with me? You're practically part of the family. It's very important that he come back. I don't really care. I'm sick of them. It's okay. All pregnant women get nervous. Kira, Max is hurting a lot because of you. I'm worried sick about it affecting his game. I'm sick of you and your basketball. Go jump. You're better at it. Kira. Let's get it together again. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Anya, please listen to me carefully. I have had nothing to do with this woman for a long time. I have no idea that she will come back into my life after five years and say hello. I didn't know you had a wife. We don't live together. Neither do you and your husband. I told you I was married and you didn't. So you didn't ask me that. I'm sorry. I know it's my fault. I should have. Okay, Pasha, forget it. Forget the story. Get to the point. They found a lot of fingerprints in the apartment. Got Gurbanov's prints. The others aren't in the system. The rest must be Tabakniks. He's been there before. The other four are unidentified. Theoretically, one could belong to her friend at the strip bar, and the rest are roommates. Whose are the others? That's the question. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Got it. Thank you. Surveillance video shows Tabaknik entering her apartment building the day Sashnik died. Looks like your client is the killer. Let's do this. I'll go down to the station. Watch it in person and see what else I can see. All right, I'll go to Tabaknik and see if I can get him to talk. Then I'll see you there. Gore, check out the car, write down the license number. You again? Good afternoon for you too. Nothing has changed for me. I still don't want to talk to you. That's okay. I'll just sit here. 
I'll wait for the police, they're on their way. And they don't have any evidence. The investigator has plenty of circumstantial evidence and that's enough to put you behind bars at least until trial. But that's not the worst of it. What's the bad news? You are accused not only of the death of Gurbanov, but also of the death of Marina Soshnik. They found her body yesterday. They didn't manage to make it look like an overdose. The experts immediately found out that it was premeditated murder. Tell me, don't you really have more pleasant plans for the next 10 years? I didn't kill her. Why should I believe you? It's all Gurbanov. He killed her. No, they wouldn't have had time. Next. So who's this? Pavel Petrovich. Come on in. There's information about the car. Good job. That's how it all fits together. For Gurbanov, Marina was just a whore. He didn't care about our feelings, my friendship with him. He didn't care that I loved her. Gurbanov was a rare asshole. He decided to take advantage of her and put her under Hazen. Hazen is the director of the firm Polyus. Yeah, we know each other. Kazin constantly received large state orders and Gurbanov was interested to know through whom. He decided to find out through Marina and when he found out, he took her out. When I saw her dead, my girl, Something clicked in my head. We need to meet. Mikhail, this is the investigator who's investigating Marina's death. Major Rudenko, criminal investigation. Are you Mikhail Tabachnik? Yes. Pasha, he didn't kill Marina. Gurbanov did. It wasn't Gurbanov. Maria Sashnik was killed by Korpiliuk. Who's that? Hazen's bodyguard. I reviewed the surveillance video on the day of the murder. Gurbanov. Tobacco and Korpiliuk went to Marina's house. But Gurbanov and Tabaknik weren't there more than four minutes each. And during that time, none of them would have had time to commit the murder and make a staging. And Korpiliuk was there for almost half an hour. I was able to establish the following. Kazan found out that Marina was leaking important information to Gurbanov and ordered her removal. Which Korpiliuk did. What have I done? Then Hazen assigned Korpiliuk to keep an eye on Anna. He followed me? Yes, that was his big mistake. Hazen's already in custody, but Korpiliuk still wanted Mr. Tabachnik. You will have to come with us. I don't think there's any need to make an accusation.
Let's go. The door! Keep your head down. I'll go to the department then. Okay. Anya, be careful. I'll be in touch. Go, 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 don't move. Hands behind your head, hands. Calm down. Put him on the hood. What happened there? Tabaknik confessed to Gurbanov's murder and was detained. So the maximum that we can do is to achieve a minimum term, referring to the state of effect. That's not an option. We'll insist on his innocence. That's not possible. That was our original strategy. And I recommend sticking to it. Mark Evgenievic, he confessed. And it's in the arrest report. So you'll say he did it under duress. You're not in your first day of work. And you know how imperfect our judicial system is. This is perjury and I did not agree to it. Enough! Stop breaking down, we're not on a date. We're doing this in the interest of the client. I won't be a part of this. I've heard too much no from you, Anna. I think we're going to say goodbye. Yes, come in. Hello, are you here to see me? Yes. I am Kira. The mother of your ex-husband's child-to-be. Why are you here? I came to tell you to leave Sasha alone. We're going to have a baby, Midya is an adult now, and you keep taking advantage of Sasha's kindness to get money out of him. Please leave. You're not old yet. You'll find someone else for yourself. Sasha doesn't love you, get over it.
We're about to find out the truth about this well. I knew I couldn't drink from it, especially in a kindergarten. Without them, now we're going to find out how bad it is and how much we overreacted. It's horrible. Boria, this? Boria, this is worse than I expected. It's not just not recommended. It's life-threatening. Boria, what kind of man am I? What kind of man am I if I let this happen? Life is a series of compromises. I can assure you that Pavlovsky and company will not be touched, even if they have any problems. They'll get it all off their backs. I'm sick and tired of making excuses for myself. The process is underway. Thank you very much. It's a great gift. You're welcome. Use it. You know, I really admire you. Leaving the board to go freelance is a powerful thing. Yes, a couple of days and a new life again. Your own practice is the level. You're going to make it work. I have confidence in you. Thank you. How's your wife Rita doing? She's fine. Is she gone? No, she has some business in town. She's staying with me for a few more days. I see. Anya, I told you everything. There's been nothing between us for a long time. It didn't seem that way to me. You see, she's been close to me for a long time. And now there can't be anything between us. Are you still angry with me? No. Pasha, I'm not angry. It was a sign, a sign to think with your head and not to do anything stupid. I'm not that age anymore. You're wrong. We're at that age where you have to do whatever you want. Or it's too late. I'm getting a divorce soon. It's only a matter of time. What are you afraid of? Pasha, let's not talk about it. I'm sorry. I'm the one who started this conversation. Okay, I get it. I won't rush you, by the way. I found you a client interested. Sure. Then let's go to breakfast, business-like. That's a great idea. Who are you? This is my coach. Okay. We're pretty much done here. Take the sensors off him. It turns out I was so hungry. Well, what client do you want to show me? I took the case yesterday, the murder of a girl. Victoria Belichina, 25 years old. Her body was found in a ravine near the highway. There were signs of a struggle. They found a work laptop, some money and a phone on her. The phone was smashed, but it's being repaired. So not a robbery? Apparently not. She works as a sales manager. We found out from the staff in the office that she went to her boss Nikolai Stanov's office that day. Apparently they were arguing about something. They were talking in high tones after the conversation she left. She took her bag. She left in a hurry. No one else saw her. Curiously enough, five minutes later Stanov left, too, and returned two hours later. What does this Stanov say? He says nothing. He doesn't want to talk without a lawyer. He fired his permanent one. And he won't agree to a civil one, so get to work. Thank you. Here's his card. I'll go talk to him. Let's go together. What are you wasting time for?
Is this the final decision? You're not gonna put me in the game. Yes, Midia. But you're not right that your absence from sports competitions is the end of your career. I'll lose this year. And at my age, that's a lot. Yeah, we didn't apply anywhere else this season. But that's for now. No one knows. I know. You shouldn't be mad. All right. I'll go. You need time to realize and pull yourself together. But you're a man. And you can handle it. Media. Please tell us about your relationship with Victoria Belijina. We have a working relationship. Nikolai Sargevic, could you please tell us in more detail what kind of person she was? What kind of specialist was she? Okay. She came to us about a year ago. She came to us about a year ago. Her daddy works in the city administration, Vladislav Belijin. Maybe you heard? Asked for a place for his daughter. I hired her as an intern. And the girl turned out to be clever, and in a couple of months she was already the head sales manager. So she's a good specialist. I told you she was pushy and ambitious. She could do anything. But as they say, insolence is a blessing in disguise. The day she died, you had a conflict. Over what? She wanted a promotion, but I said no. She said she was going to tell her dad and he was going to shut down the agency, etc. And did you? What about me? I sent her away. I'm not a little one to listen to threats from an insolent girl. That's the whole conflict. Where did you go after this conversation? For a drive to get some air. I love it, you know? It calms the nerves. What do you think? No alibi. No good reason to suspect him, either. The IT guys were able to pull files from Belijina's phone. There's video. Size. Wow, there's adult video. Check it out. So Belijina and Zidanov were lovers. He didn't mention it. The video was taken three days ago. Only for what purpose did Belijina film her sex with Zidanov? Was this taken at her apartment? Looks like it. There's nothing in the report about a camera, so it's not ours. She could have disguised the camera. Based on the angle of the shot, we can figure out where it was hidden and see if it's there now. Let's go look for it, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Sorry. Hello, son, Midya. I'll definitely come to see you today and now go on studying as if no one had told you anything. Fucking teachers. Yes, that's exactly what I told her. Right to her face. I don't know if she's going to tell Sasha and turn him against me. No, she won't. I'll tell you what. You get him. And let him decide who his family is. Okay, mom. He has to choose you. Of course he should pick me. I looked at her. She was no figure, no face. Mom, I'll call you later. Bye. Kira, hi. Hi, but I'm in a hurry, Maxim. I won't keep you long. I just want to tell you that I love you. And I'm ready to raise your child, even though it's of Lev's. Same thing, Max. How many times? You didn't seem so boring to me before. If Lev is willing to raise his own child, how does he raise kids? By the way, you know his media well. How is he brought up? Yes, Midia is well-mannered. I respect him. 
Okay, bye. Bye. It's good that daddy cares about his children's upbringing. I'm sick of it. What are you looking at? We need a bedroom. The camera should be in this corner. I level. I level. Got it. There it is. Do we need a computer to see what's on the camera? I'll try to connect it to the TV. Here you go. Lots of separate files. I get it. The camera works on the motion sensor. That's why it is recorded when there is someone in the room. Okay, here's yesterday's video. The operatives are looking around the room. Okay. And turn on the video before that. Look at the time stamp. It's the morning right before she died. Getting ready for work. Nothing interesting. Keep going. Next video. The evening before. Talking on the phone, turn it up. I did what we talked about. He's freaking out. Yeah, he's bringing the money tomorrow. You're right. If I'm not here by one o'clock tomorrow, send it to his wife so she can enjoy watching it. Kisses, see you tomorrow. Blackmail. Religion was blackmailing Stanov. Yeah. That's a serious motive. Anya, I'll have to hold him. It's understandable. Tomorrow you'll visit him in the detention center. Nidia. Sun, hi, I'm sorry. I got held up. I have my first solo client. It's a lot of work. Media. What did the coach say? Midia. Well, you're a grown man. Talk to me, please, son. Don't be silent. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. Me too. I cooked you a dinner. Wings with vegetables and potatoes, just like before. Go wash your hands. Rita, I'm not hungry. How about 
some tea, then, with Napoleon, just the way you like it. Good night. Anya! Sasho, hi, I'm sorry I'm late. Hi, it's not late. I'm still at work. At work? Yeah. I have some, some complications. You okay? Look, Mid is in trouble. They're not taking him to the game. Can you pull up your connections at the university? Talk them into taking him. I don't think so. We need to find his girlfriend. He won't talk to me. He's shut down. Her name is Nika, she's a freshman, that's all I know, maybe she can talk to him, Sasha. I don't know what to do. I'll talk to him. I don't think that's gonna work. Look, Midi has a father. I should at least do something for you. Don't worry. I'll meet him and make sure he listens to me. And thank you for that call. Last time we saw each other in a nicer place. I hope it won't be for long. Maybe you can tell me about the video of you and Victoria. Where did you get it? I broke her phone the last time we fought. It was repaired. Please don't show that video to my wife. I'm begging you. I'm not gonna show your wife anything. How long was your relationship with Victoria? A couple of months. It wasn't a relationship, just sex. And then she started blackmailing me. What did she want? Money, a very large sum, and the next day. Otherwise, she threatened to show the video to Eva, my wife. Where's the money? There is no money. Why are you messing with my head? You're not so bad back there, by the way. After two o'clock, I'll go and get it. Do you understand? And no tricks. If my wife finds out anything, I'll strangle you with these hands. Get out. Did you kill her? I went to the bank to get the money. But she never came back. Meet Eva, the wife of Nikolai Stanov. Hello. Hello. Anna Evleva, the best lawyer in town. She's the one defending your husband. Thank you for defending Kalia. Do I owe you anything? No, Nikolai sent an advance. That's enough for now. Shall I go then? I hope they'll let me in. Certainly. Goodbye. Where was she the day she was killed? She has an alibi. She was at a friend's manicure that day.
It turns out that Victoria blackmailed Zadonov and never got the money. She also has an accomplice, whom she reported for money. She has some strange photos on social media. I'll show you. Okay. I'll watch this. Usually she's all classy and up to date. But these pictures are kind of weird. The light's dark. There's no geolocation. It's in some strange apartment, except you can see the house outside the window, but that's it. The house is memorable. But without knowing the neighborhood, it's hard to tell what kind of house it is. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bank, see if Sadonov was there right after the fight. Then I'll go to Belijina's father and find out why she needed that kind of money. Good luck. May I? Come in, Sansanik. What do you want? Gennady Petrovich, I know you were against it, but I did my own research on this well. My results are radically different from the ones we submitted to the State Commission. So, we got the state order. By the way, your signature is on the documents. What else? You know I signed them to get the loan. But now I'll find the money. I'll take out a loan to pay it back. Ivlev. Why don't you sit still? Jana. Look, the water, this water, it's not just not good. It's definitely dangerous to your health. You're going to supply it to kindergartens. This well is a gold mine. And that's all I want to know about it. Jenna, I can't keep quiet. Will conscience bother you? Then go to church and light a candle. Just don't make a mess of my company. You're connected to the government, aren't you? You can fix everything. You can withdraw that application. Think of something to keep the poison water from getting to the kids. You don't have to tell me what to do, okay? And don't play the altruist. We know you too well. Jenna! Your daughter was blackmailing her boss. She demanded a rather serious amount of money. Do you have any idea why she needed that kind of money? I don't know. She made good money. Maybe she was telling you about a big purchase or some kind of trouble. We had a story with Vyke. She got mixed up with some fool. About six months ago, thought she'd get over it, followed her, but didn't get involved. And then she did something crazy. She bought him some weed and used my card to pay for it. I can imagine. That was a hell of a scandal. A city official buys drugs for himself. It was barely hushed up. Of course, I gave Vika a piece of my mind afterwards. After that, she promised she would never take money from me again. What about this weed lover? Romeo, a junkie. I put him in an asylum. He's still being treated there. Get a printout on the client's operation. What's his name? Nikolai Zdanov. Nikolai Zdanov. What period? The last three days. Just a minute. Please? Thank you. Let's have a look. 
Two days ago there were two calls. There was a cash withdrawal order this morning at 11 o'clock a.m. And there was a pickup at 2.27 p.m. Can I have one of those? Yes, of course. So he was in the bank for 27 minutes. What did you want? It's not like getting money for ice cream from an ADM. That's why they closed the cash register. There's a room where they dispense large sums of money. The client is invited there. The money is counted. And it takes on average 15 minutes to half an hour. Yes, I'm just checking. So he was in the bank from 2.02 p.m. to 2.27 p.m. Yeah. And he left the bank with the amount he wanted. That's correct. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Hello. Patient Orfeev, where can I find him? Just a minute. Gal, hi, tell me, where is Orefiev? Yes? For how long? Can you tell me, please? Yes. Orefiev was discharged three weeks ago. They kept this address. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hi, son of his alibi was confirmed. What have you got? There is the former Belligina. He was recently released from the asylum. Her father put him there. Let's go talk, shall we? Let's go. Hello, Vladislav Vitalievich. To what do I owe? Calling to ask how my Orfiv is doing. Is he behaving well? He's fine. He's been treated and rehabilitated. He's been back in society for three weeks. What do you mean, back in society? They discharged him. Here we are. Look at this. This is the same house, the one with Belligina's picture on it. So she definitely saw Orfiv lately. That's Victoria's father. Looks like he's in a bad mood. Wait here. Don't do this. Lucky Orefiev. You saved his life. Okay, it's a good thing you did. Get him out of here. Please. Hello, son. I brought some cottage cheese.
I didn't come because I was afraid I'd shake your morale. I couldn't take it. So I came. First of all, I want to tell you that I think cheating on your mother was a big mistake. I sincerely regret it. It is a betrayal and a crime. And I apologize to her and to you. I also want to tell you that I know exactly how you feel. I wanted to be an athlete once. I was supposed to be on the Olympic team. Yeah, I didn't tell you that because it was a traumatic experience for me. It was and it is. I was one step away from the national team when I accidentally hurt my knee in training. No big deal. Meniscus injury. A couple of weeks and I would have been. Good as new. But I couldn't take it. I felt like life was passing me by. I went back to training. And then what? And then? Then nothing interesting. A meniscus tear, surgery. I wasn't out of the sport for a month or a year. Forever. I feel like I've recovered. Understand, one tournament right now is not worth your big sport's future. Hey! You're late today. Hi. Can I make you some mint tea? I'm good. I'm going to bed. Tell me, is it serious? With who? With Anna, the lawyer. Rita, what do you care? Give it to her. It must be hers. I found it under the bathtub. All right, son, it's late. It's past your bedtime. I'm going to go. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. It's just a shame it was a waste of rehab money. What are you talking about? You're recovering under the supervision of the best rehabilitators. Isn't it worth it? Go back to sleep. Thank you. Pasha! Pasha, are you asleep? I had such a scary dream. I couldn't sleep. Well, sleep. Midia, are you ready? Almost. Two minutes. I'm glad you're in a good mood. Anyway, mom. Hold on. Dad was here. He apologized, I forgave him. But you don't have to forgive him. I don't want you to live your life alone. 
So if you have someone else, I'll understand. Here you go. Sit down, Vladislav Vitalievich. Tell us why you shot a Refiev. The asylum didn't stop him. That's what I decided. But not even a bullet could take the shithead. Do you think that Arefiev killed Victoria? He had something to do with it anyway. If he didn't do it himself, he did it because of him? I didn't keep my daughter safe. I'm sorry, Vika. Good afternoon. Hello. How are you? I've been better. Tell me, did you kill Victoria Bolijan? What's in it for me? As far as I know, it was your idea to blackmail Vicky's boss. Yeah, I needed the money. The whole silent thing really got to me. No one would hire me, and I'm hungry. So we came up with the idea of setting it up. So maybe her boss killed her too? No, as long as you're the prime suspect. I was waiting for Vika to bring me the money. One o'clock, just like we talked about. She got distracted somewhere, turned her phone off. I sent the video to the client's wife. You sent the video to Zadanov's wife? Yeah, there was an agreement. Yes. Hi. Sanova knew about the connection with Belijina. Orfeev sent her the video at 1 p.m. What was the exact time of Belijina's death? About 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, I'll go check out Sadanova's alibi. I'll have the guys look at her car. See if they can find anything. I already told you. She was at my place till this evening. I understand. I just need to know everything right down to the minute. Eva was with you from 2 o'clock p.m. until... No, there was a 2 o'clock p.m. appointment, but Eva's never on time. Was she late that day, too? I waited an hour and a half for her. Then she was at my place until the evening, and she never left. Rita, please stop. I'm watching you. You get so tired. I want you to rest. Relax. Rita, why are you here? Unexpectedly. I miss you. I can't help it. 
You're the one who left me. I know I did. I know. Don't you love me anymore? No. I don't. I love another woman. That's why you should go away. and think about getting a divorce, please. I ask that the charges against my client be dropped. The court was presented with evidence that my client had an irrefutable alibi at the time of the murder. What does the prosecution have? Your Honor, we drop the charges against Nikolai Zadanov and charge Eva Zadanova with the murder of Victoria Belichina. Traces of the murdered woman's DNA were found in her car, as well as a motive. All materials are submitted to the court. I ask to take Ms. Zadanova into custody. Take her away. Could this be a mistake? Your wife confessed to everything. The AKA, hi. Did something happen? Come on, I'll give you a ride. Anya, congratulations to you. Your first case on your own. Thank you for your help and for the client. As always. I suggest we celebrate in the evening. Pasha, isn't your wife waiting for you at home? Rita's gone away. For good. There's nothing between us, and I'll be filing for divorce in the very near future. I suggest we have a celebratory dinner when we're both divorced. That's a long time to wait. Yeah. Have a good evening. son. Why aren't you opening? Are you there? It's our day. Now, daddy, I'm doing my makeup. We'll go soon. Are you putting on makeup? How? I wash my hair. I'm going to press this button and it'll buzz. I heard the sound of water. Are you in the bathroom? Yes. Son, are you in the bathroom with a hair dryer? Where's mom? Mom's asleep. Freeze. Don't move. Just stay where you are. Why are you knocking? Son, I was so scared. Come in. Hello, I'm on 11, Tremolova. Yes, hello, come in, have a seat. Tell me about it. Anton and I are getting a divorce. I have no claim to anything except the child. We have a son, five years old. But Anton won't let it go. What is his relationship with his son? A normal relationship. That's not the point. He just does everything to spite me. Why would you think that? I'm the one who left Anton for Andrew. We're together now. Anton can't stand it and forgive me. I see. Usually child welfare takes the mother's side when the child is under 10 years old. I know that Anton hired a lawyer. I don't know what kind of game he's playing. But all I want is for my son not to be taken away from me. I can't stand it. Yeah. 
Yes. Are you alone? Yeah, come on in. Sit, sit. I just want to talk about our conversation yesterday. So? I solved the problem. Really? Thank you. First of all, I will install equipment that will give satisfactory readings in an express examination. Wait, that doesn't solve the global water quality issue. It doesn't. But, you know, I've moved on. I talk to my people at various levels. They will take care of the guarantees. Don't worry about that. I don't get it. Guarantees for what? They promise to get us off. Even in the event of fatalities, we'll be exonerated. But I don't think it'll come to that. How's that? Like this. I have some leverage. It's not my first year on the market. After all, so everything will be fine. Jenna, you... You must have misunderstood me. That's not what I'm worried about. You and I are criminals. I promise I keep quiet if you keep it quiet. But you haven't settled anything. You haven't solved anything. Calm down. Don't make me do it. If you don't decide anything, I'll decide it. I'll go to the prosecutor's office. I'll go to the anti-corruption bureau. I'll... I'm going to go public with this. Ivlev, you probably don't fully understand how much money there is and how high the stakes are. So I'm really asking you not to stand in my way. Give me a pass pass. Guys, practice is over for today. Well done. Hi, Mitya. Hi guys, hi. Michia, I'm sorry about those claims in the locker room. I lost control of myself, you know what I mean. It's okay, it's over. Max and I were worried that you wouldn't be at the competition. I'll be sitting in the bleachers, what can I do? It's our fault, me in particular, that you're taking so much time off. Let's not talk about it, guys. We thought we'd give Kolesnikov an ultimatum. Coach, if Evlev doesn't play, then we won't either. You're out of your mind. We're serious. No, of course not. Why? We screwed up enough as it is in this story. Well, Midya, enough. I'll get over it. Relax. Good afternoon, I am Natalia Dremolova's lawyer. Can we talk to you? Natasha hired a lawyer. <clears throat> Unexpectedly. Followed your lead. Would you like some coffee? No, thank you. Yes, I did hire a lawyer. Just to sort out the formalities. So he could do all the paperwork. I don't want to mess with the bureaucracy. I don't need a lawyer to take away her parental rights. And you're wasting your time. It's a losing case. What makes you so sure? You probably don't know Natasha very well. I've lived with her for years, and not the happiest. She's psychotic and unstable. And she's only calm until the first dress. You can't trust her with a child. 
It didn't seem that way to me, to be honest. You know, there are devils in quiet places. She finished her modeling career not too long ago. And you know what she did? She did what? She started drinking. Drinking like crazy. Our son Max had to be given to Vitaly Afanasyevich, Natasha's father. Luckily, he lives nearby. And I had to do my best to get her off the booze myself. I thought it worked. But? But then the story with the juvenile bartender. That's her roommate Andrew, right? Yeah. I thought she'd get over it and come back to the family. Well, she didn't. What's wrong? She's crazy. She can drink. She's unstable. She takes her sedatives and sleeps it off, and the child is alone. Aren't you exaggerating? She's asleep, and the kid's in the bathroom with a hair dryer. Is that normal? Is that an exaggeration? I agree. I can never be calm about my son. I'm already a nervous wreck myself. Look, I love Max. And I don't want him living with that inadequate mother and that sucker of a stepfather. Do you have the time to devote to your child? Yeah, I work a lot. Mostly at home, though, and I'd rather hire a good nanny and know that Max is okay. Because I can't be sure that the elements are being spent on the baby and not on a gym membership for that Andreisha. Come in. You'll forgive me for making such a mess? That's all right, I won't be long. Maxim, excuse me a moment. What happened here? I'm asking you, what have you done? How many times have I told you not to touch anything with your hands? Quickly go to your room and keep your head down. It's not a child, it's a hurricane. Excuse me, I'm listening. Natalia, I spoke to your husband's lawyer. And he does have a lot of chances to get custody. Why is that? He's working, he has a steady income, he has a flexible schedule. And your situation is a little different. You don't work, and the court might have doubts about your ability to support your child. Plus, this whole drinking thing. Did Anton tell you that? What a jerk! Look, it's all in the past. Nevertheless, the lawyer will stress it. Can't you help me? We can, of course, gather positive references from our side. Who can testify that you're a good mother? The kindergarten teachers. The neighbors. I think I got the wrong lawyer. You can't help me. The court will consider all the facts. Any lawyer will tell you that. Well, then I'll handle it without a lawyer. But no one's taking my son away from me. Why are you sitting there? I thought I fired you. If you change your mind, call me. You have the right to communicate with your son, even if he lives with his father.
Good night. Who is this? Anton Dremelov, 34 years old. Programmer, lives alone, found out by a neighbor. She saw her brother locked up and got scared that an expensive computer had been stolen. But the computer is just there. Or has something else been taken? At first glance, no, it feels like it was intended for murder. Check out his work front. Customers, competitors, I'll take care of his personal life. Copy. Excuse me. There was a business card on the shelf. Hello? Hi, are you asleep? Not yet. Tell me, is Anton Dremelov your client? He's my client's husband. X. What's the case? They're getting a divorce, and they can't split the baby. He's not claiming custody anymore. He was found dead. It looks like a murder. Hello? You said Dremelova wasn't your client anymore. Yeah, she fired me. Reasons? I told her husband had a good chance of winning his custody case. She wasn't happy with that. And when did you talk to her? Last night, I left her around 7 o'clock p.m. Neighbors heard a gunshot around 9.30 p.m. Do you think she might have? Killed Dremelov? Yes. I don't know. Of course she said something along the lines of no one's going to take my baby away from me. But to kill? I don't know. Okay. I'll go talk to Dremelova and her roommate. Can I come? Sure. Anya. I want you around all the time. Give me a chance. Mitty is back. Mitty up. I see. I have no chance at all for dinner. Let's go. Come on in. I don't offer tea. That's not the point. To what do I owe? Natalia Vitalievna. Last night your husband was found dead in his apartment. Do you expect me to pay? As they say, good riddance. Where were you last night? At home. Can anyone confirm that? Only this one can confirm it. I left you at seven. And what happened after that? Nothing. I cooked. I fed my son. I waited for my husband from work. You didn't go out. Where to? I got a kid at home. And your roommate? Andre was at work in a bar. He came back at the beginning of 12. And your father. Are you going to check all my relatives or just the closest ones? Answer the question, please. My dad's out of town. He was in a sanatorium 300 kilometers away. So only your son can confirm that you were home at the time. Something like that. We'll have to talk to him. 
Are you guys all right? You want to interrogate Maxim? Naturally, in the presence of a psychologist and possibly you. What is it? The boy says his mother was at home after his and left, which I take it was you. He and his mother had dinner and she put him to bed at 9 p.m. That is, she was at home until 9 o'clock and then he was asleep and he didn't see his mother. So it goes like this. Thank you very much. Andrei Trishik. Yes. Investigator Rudenko. I am investigating the murder of Anton Trimilov. I know, Natalia already called. What was your relationship to the victim? A disgusting one. But I didn't kill him. So I'm not accusing you of anything yet. And where were you last night between 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock p.m.? I was here, in an establishment, from 12 in the afternoon until closing time. You can ask Saryoga. Which Saryoga? Our administrator. Where have you been all night? Lunchtime is coming up. I called you all the time, and you just got here. Where I wanted to be. Kira, are you drunk? You're pregnant. Are you crazy? What difference does it make? You don't care. You don't care about us. I care about my children. I think I have done wrong to my family. But I will always take care of my child. My baby? How touching. Or is he not mine? Yours, not yours. What's the difference? What does it all mean? It doesn't mean anything. Calm down. Okay, I'll ask. Are you pregnant by me? I'm wondering why you're only asking that question now. I asked you a question. From you. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'll get a paternity test. Do whatever you want. I'll pack my bags and get out of here tonight. It's become like some kind of theater of the absurd. Well, get out. Ciao. Or did you think I'd put up with you going to another family's house? Thank you. Andre. Do you know who might have wished Trimalov dead? Think about it. I have no idea. Have a good day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good day. Andre. What have you gotten yourself into? I thought I had to cover for you in front of Natasha and then the cops came. Don't set me up like that again. I'm sorry. Won't happen again. Okay. Alexander Alexandrovich, as soon as the tests are ready, you will receive a message from the clinic. Okay, please tell me. Are they accurate? I don't quite understand. How can you establish paternity without a test on the child? Science works wonders. 
It's a modern method developed by Canadian scientists just a few years ago. They discovered that the biological material of a pregnant woman contains fetal DNA. It's unbelievable. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. About Dremelov's business, there's no evidence. He worked alone. All orders were online. There's no one to share the money with. Currently, the only evident conflict of interest is with his wife. Natalia's alibi is also questionable. Maxim, Natalia's child, went to bed at 9 in the evening. In theory, he might not have heard Natalia leave and return. What about her partner, Andre? The administrator confirmed his alibi. Tretyak was at the bar until closing time. Yeah. There's also a report from the experts. The shot was fired from a pistol. Natalia Dremilova's father is a former military man who owns a pistol of the same model. He also has an alibi. I called the sanatorium, and he couldn't have arrived in the city so quickly without anyone noticing. Anya, the owner's weapon should be kept in a safe while he was in the sanatorium. Theoretically, either Tretyak or Dremilova could have opened the safe, taken the pistol, and committed the crime. We need to have the pistol examined to confirm if it was the one used in the shooting. Absolutely right. Klimov is returning tomorrow morning. I suggest we meet him. By the way, the bar where this Tretyak works has an excellent menu. Maybe we can have dinner there. Pasha, I don't want to have dinner. Besides, the workday is already over, isn't it? Anya, how much longer can this go on? I've explained everything to you in plain terms. Are you happy with me? Fine, Pasha. So what's the matter? We clearly rushed into this, to move on from past relationships. We need time. For whom, you? And not for you. Not for me. Have a good evening, Pasha. Good night. Anything else? Yes, pour me a drink. Pour me one, not for work. And repeat it immediately. Is our job both dangerous and difficult? Or is it personal? Something like this. Tell me about it. Confession to the bartender. Classic. Classic. I met her when we were students. We started dating. Kind of love. And that's when I realized she was the one. And she met someone else. A little older. A little more dignified. Got married. Gave birth to his son. We haven't seen each other in years. We just recently met. I'd already split up with my wife. I think she's getting a divorce, too. I thought it was fate. But it's not working. It's not working. Maybe she just doesn't love me. She never did. Yeah. Maybe she did. I'm buying. Go for it. Hey, man. Good to see you. Hi, you too. Get me that cool orange umbrella thing.
Just a minute. It was so depressing without you here yesterday, just pouring beer. Are you sick by any chance? I'm fine. Freeze. Good morning. Hi. How is Dremilova's young husband? He's not talking yet. If we manage to establish that Kremilov's gun was used, Trishik won't get away with it. That's why I released him on his own reconnaissance. Here's Klimov. Thank you, Alexei. Have a safe trip. Klimov, Batalia Fantasievic. That's the one. Hello. Hello. Investigator Rudenko. What can I do for you? We need to check your service weapon. Might, the gun is in the apartment in a safe. That's why I'm sure it's safe and sound. Let's go right this way. First floor. Come on in. I'll get the key. Do you keep the key to the safe in your apartment? Of course I do. Only in a secret place. As they say, the needle is in the egg. The egg is in the duck. What are you doing? That's how unpredictable life is. Vitalia Fantasievic, don't. A child should not be left without its mother. I killed Anton. Yeah, Anton Obil. The Lady Sadovea 16, Apartment 7, a man here threatens a police officer with a gun. Pasha. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? I'm fine. I really want to go home, but they won't let me go yet. How's our shooter? He's still unconscious, but the doctors say he'll be fine. It's a shame about Grandpa. Well, at least he's alive. Anya. When I get out of here, will you come see me? I'll make you something delicious. You can't refuse the wounded. What kind of rule is that? You made that up? Yeah. M.M. Hum, when I get out of here, I'll be there. But we only agree on dinner and nothing more. Of course, no problem. Would it be embarrassing for your son if you stayed late at my place? No. On the contrary, he wants me to arrange my personal life. I have my doubts. You know what I don't understand? How Klimov managed to get out of the sanatorium, that's 300 kilometers, and come back unnoticed. I sent my guys to the sanatorium, had them check it out again. I think tomorrow we'll know what's what.
Kira, someone is calling you. Go open it. I'm not expecting anyone today. Alexander Alexandrovich. Where is Kira? Who's there? Kira. What kind of people? Hi. If Lev A is not the father of the child, what is this? It means that I am not the father of your child. You know that's a mistake, don't you? Plus, it doesn't matter who the biological father is, it's who raised the child. I understand. Have fun. Wait. Where are you going? Hello? Hi. I watched the report Dremelov was killed with Klimov's gun. But I don't think he was the shooter. Why not? Come to Dremelova's address. I'll meet you there. You're supposed to be in the hospital. They're discharging me today. I wanted to surprise you. Change of plans. I'll see you there. Good afternoon. Andriusha, go see who came to us again. Hello? Hello? Anything else? Have a seat. Natalia Vitalievna. New information has emerged during the investigation, revealing new details. Previously, you claimed that you were not in the city at the time of your father's murder. Yes, I told. That's true. But on that day, someone fired shots from his gun. Someone who had the keys to the apartment and access to the safe where his weapons were stored. The shooter fired six random shots. Three bullets hit your husband in the abdomen, leg and head. This doesn't resemble the handwriting of a soldier. Moreover, there were fingerprints on the gun that didn't belong to your father. We need to obtain your fingerprints and yours as well. That's why I'm asking you to come with me to the police station. What will happen to my son? What will happen to Maxim? Natasha, calm down. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Let's step aside and talk for a minute. Listen, let's make a deal. How much do you want to bury this case? Are you suggesting bribing a public official? Come on. Don't be like that. You understand that Natalia didn't want to do this. She simply had no other choice. If they took her child away, she wouldn't have survived. Can you come today? If Natalia Vitalievna makes a sincere confession, the court will take it into account. Can't you see the situation? The boy's father is dead. The grandfather may not recover. The child will be left an orphan. I understand all that, but she committed a crime and must face the consequences. I won't allow the child to stay with such a hysterical person like you. He is my son. You have no heart. Let's run.
How did you understand? It wasn't difficult. We double-checked Klimov's alibi. He didn't leave the sanatorium all evening. He was playing cards. Six people can confirm that. So someone fired from his gun, either Natalia or Tretiak. Exactly right. It's a shame for the boy he's left without parents. I hope the grandfather recovers. How are you feeling? I'm fine. It will heal before the wedding. Are you sure? Absolutely. Wasn't it too soon for you to be discharged? Anya, do you want them to put me back in the hospital or you just don't want to come over in the evening? I'll come to you. I'll stop by home for an hour and then come. There you are. I noticed that you sometimes come here. Decisions are made here. What do you want, Borea? I wanted to know if you were in the office or not. Should I close the doors? It's getting late. Don't close them yet. I'll be there soon. Have all the decisions been made? Almost all. Is it related to the well or problems with... Sorry, I forgot your wife's name. Kira wasn't my wife. She was my mistress. We broke up yesterday. She deceived me, and I deceived my wife. Tomorrow... Tomorrow I'll do the right thing. And it concerns her well. Tomorrow, I've decided to go to the prosecutor's office. But your signature is on the documents. I know. Well, I know, Boris. I'm ready to take responsibility for everything. It's up to you. Anya, it's me. Don't hang up. I left Kira. Her child is not mine. I have nothing to do with it. And what? I don't know. I really want to come back to you. Vio, or rather, I don't want anything else but to come back to you. But I can't do it now. I haven't resolved everything yet. But soon, I will and I'll be able to. I'll be able to ask for your forgiveness with a clear conscience. Good night, Anna. I love you very much. Senia, hi, I need to talk. Let's meet. When? Right now. I'll send you the restaurant's address. Okay. Are you telling the truth now? Of course. Just think about it. I'm not my own enemy. I also want everything to go smoothly. I thought you were right. I'll rewind the tape. I'll put the project on hold. I'll replace the well with a more environmentally friendly one. Damn the money. You were right. Yeah. Can I really trust you? Of course, Sasha, I just need time. I'll fix everything. 
but while I'm dealing with it, I beg you, don't interfere. Don't. You have three days. Yes. Anya, I'm ready, get ready. I'll pick you up in 20 minutes. Pasha, I'm sorry, I won't come. Yes. Pavel Patrovich, there is information about a corpse in the park at night. We have established the identity in the circumstances. Well? Gregory Govern, 39 years old, air conditioner repairman for a small company. I'm married, no kids, lives on Makarenko Street. What was he doing alone in the park at night and on the other side of town? The guard at the nearest restaurant said he left by them, so he went to the restaurant. I checked the security cameras. He came in with flowers, someone he was waiting alone. Then he left the flowers and left. So he didn't wait for anyone. Well, find out who. Were you at his house? Pavel Petrovich, I haven't had time yet. That's the way to go, young man, at your age. Why did you get up today as if you were on the wrong side of the bed? What are you hovering over? I was just thinking. About what? There's a game today. The game I've been living for the last year. I remember. It was supposed to be a turning point in my career. Now that moment is ahead of me. I don't think so. I'm certainly not giving up basketball. 
I'm going to practice, but there won't be any more competitions of that level this season. So I'm going to lose this year. And this, you know. You want me to come to the game tonight? You have a job. I want to be with my family. But now I'm going to be cleaning house till tonight. <laughs> Whatever you say, Mom. Oh my God, for what? Who would be your son's enemy? There were no such people. He was a peaceful guy. Loved people. He loved his work. He never had any conflicts at all. Did he live with you? Yeah. My son never had time to establish a personal life. He never had time to start a family and have children. Did he have any relationships? No. He dated a girl a long time ago, but they broke up. He'd been in love with Lilia Reptuk for three years. The Encore woman? Yeah. Here. He wrote to her on the computer and the old-fashioned way. He sent her gifts. He lived for her. An obsession. What about her? Grisha said that she answers. Although I think he came up with it himself. Sun? Sunny. Pavel Petrovich, I even got a little confused. Who would even need his dad? He didn't steal money. He didn't steal other people's women. And he had been in love for many years. TV host is Lilia Rapchuk. Who? TV host, the blonde one. I don't watch TV. I take it he loved her unrequited. That's what I'm thinking of finding out. I'm gonna go talk to her at the TV studio. Wait, that's the other side of town. On the one hand it is. But on the other hand, it's right next to a murder scene. Pavel Petrovich, can I go? Go ahead. Pavel Petrovich, in person. Hello. Hello. It's been a long time since I've seen you. You don't visit us very often. I try to pass by if possible. You're an amateur. But I couldn't resist today. What's up? I'm in a bad mood. I need a distraction. What? Did you have a fight with your wife? Something like that. Please come in. I can't promise to make you feel better, but maybe I can at least distract you. Hello. Hello. It's an honor to meet you. But there is no time, so let's get right to the point. Do you know Gregory Tuvran? No. That's what I thought. Thank you. It's just that his mother said he'd been in love with you for years. But that doesn't mean you knew each other. You don't know how many people love you. A love fiend. There was one. He used to write me all the time. Texted me where? Everywhere. Social networking, editorial, and email. Two years ago, I had the misfortune to write him back. I thanked him. And then I realized he was crazy. Here. Look. Thank you. But yesterday he wrote you that he would wait for you at Quartz. I told you, I don't read his messages. There are too many of them. He was waiting for you. If you'll excuse me, I have a live show to go to. Thank you very much. 
Ask him not to text me anymore, okay? I will. Have a seat. It's about the corpse from the park, right? Yes. Sorry. Yes. Pavel Patrovich, I figured it out. Govern invited Lily to the restaurant court in the evening. That's why he came there. He was waiting for her, but of course she didn't come. Maybe he was disturbing some other fan of that star. I don't think so. No one saw read his messages. She only opened them in front of me. He's crazy. I figured that out already. Go to the department and make sure you file a report. I'll check it out. What about the murder weapon? The shape of the length of the blade reminds me of a cattle knife, to be more specific. It's for pigs. I saw a similar wound on a corpse and became interested. I specifically studied the question. You are a professional. So the knife is for slaughtering pigs. That's not hard to buy. I think every village has one. I disagree. Judging by the blade, it is a knife for professional slaughtering. And for an amateur cattleman, it's too dangerous. So we can narrow it down. Thanks for the information. Could we take a look at these wounds, please? Of course. You know him. He looks like him. Yeah, look. It's definitely him. So. Did mother of Govern ID the body? Yeah, she did. Been here since this morning. It's such a coincidence. Look, you never know. I also met my double on vacation. Even my wife confused us. Especially from the back. Pasha, I'm not ready yet, to be honest. I'll call you myself when I can. Anya, I got that already. I'm working? I wasn't planning on working today. Listen, I have a dead body. I'm afraid it has something to do with your husband. Do you suspect him of something? No, I don't. Look, come here, maybe you can explain something to me. Kirok. 
Kira, wait, I know everything. I know it's not of Love's baby. Yulia blabbed. She's a fucking fan. Kira, I know it's mine. I knew it from the beginning. Kira, my baby girl, I know it's hard for you right now. But I'm ready to raise our baby. I want to be with you. Kira. I love you. You're the love of my life. No, Max, no. Why not? You're not my level, you know what I mean. Not my level. Then what do you want? I'll prove it to you all. I'll take a sabbatical. I'm gonna have a baby. And then I'll clean up after the birth. And you'll see what I can do. All right. Anya. It's just a man who looks like him. It happens. Anya, it's not him. What if it was him, Pasha? I don't know, he's been kind of weird lately. I chalked it up to feelings of remorse. That's why he's been acting that way. What was he acting weird about? He said he'd made a lot of mistakes, that he was trying to make things right. He'd already left his mistress, so what other mistakes could there be? I'm sorry, I don't have to discuss this with you, I'm sorry. I'm doing my job. What else? He said he was having some problems at work. And he needed to clear his conscience. He's not answering. Something happened to him, Pasha, I don't know what to do. Don't worry about it. We'll find him. Agora, write it down, Vlev Alexander Alexandrovich. Born in 77, find him right away. I'll send you the rest of the information. Not wanted. Just find him by yourself. Do it. No leads on the dead Govern. The work is modest. He worked diligently, kind in character, not much of an oddball. I don't see a motive unless it was an accident. Maybe he was confused with your husband. On the other hand, why kill your husband? The man lives a harmless enough life, really. After what you said about him having problems at work. Except for that. Pasha, I don't understand anything. I don't know anything myself. Don't you think the murder weapon's a little strange? It's a cattle knife. It's not typical. Wait. We should call the morgue. Yes! I have a question. Remember you said you'd seen a body with a wound like that before. 
Not that kind of wound, but a wound caused by the kind of knife. What kind of corpse was it? I don't remember. I remember it was a knife like that, but on my thigh. It wasn't fatal. Yes. It was a drowning. He died from water entering his lungs. And who was in charge of the case? Fedotov, remember him? Yes, the one who was fired for negligence and bribery. I'm begging you, find me information on that corpse. Maybe it'll help me. Deal. Max, what's wrong? Come to your senses, we have a game. Three, four. Girls, keep it down. Let's keep going, one, two, three, four, five. Guys, gather round, please. Six, seven, eight, well done. This game is more important than ever. Let's do it. Let's go, let's go. Hello. Hello. My love. I haven't told anyone that yet. You'll be the first. We have good news. We have a new sponsor. And there's money for an international tournament. Remember? That's what we dreamed of last year. Of course I remember. Well, here goes. If the team wins today, we go to Madrid. And Umidia will go with the team. You're a basic player, I don't doubt that. It's just that everything has its time. Thank you. Yay! You're gonna be okay, you're gonna play this season. I just hope we win tonight. We'll be rooting for you so hard. We can't win without Max. Anya, I found your bracelet at home. Here it is. I'm returning it. He's here. Sasha, I was so frightened. Anya, Anika, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. I'm ready. I'll answer for everything. I realized I couldn't bear it if anything happened to you. The only thing that can happen to me is what I deserve. What are you talking about? I'll tell you everything. I'm sorry. I personally wanted to come and tell everything. But my boss asked for three days because he was ready to deal with the situation himself. What situation? The situation of falsification of the well expertise. We'll come back to that later. Are you suggesting that someone wants you dead? My death? No, I don't think so. 
I see. Where were you last night? I told you, I was meeting my boss at the restaurant. You see, we have a conflict. What restaurant? Courts. Who set the meeting place? My boss, Pavlovsky. He called to make an appointment. Good. Please tell me about your conflict with him. The thing is, my water company, that's the company where I work. They had an opportunity to bid on a tender. It's supplying drinking water to state institutions for children. But the company had only one well, which is unsuitable for development. The thing is that it's not water, it's poison. But the company falsified the expertise and submitted this tender. They want it. Let me drink some water. Sure. They say it's all thanks to Pavlovsky's connections. I came to this company just as these documents were being prepared. And I signed the test, which were supposedly ready. But I decided to check everything myself. I did my own research. I realized that this water cannot be drunk. This is a slow death. I told that to Pavlovsky and added that if he didn't change anything, I would appeal to the prosecutor's office. What about Pavlovsky? What about him? Nothing. He didn't want to change anything. He didn't want to listen to me. According to him, the state order is a huge amount of money. And no way. And then all of a sudden he backed down and decided to make peace with me. He invited me to this restaurant asked that I do not go to the prosecutor's office for three days. He said he would sort it all out on his own. But in fact, he gave a tip to the killer about the restaurant and your appearance. But the killer made a mistake and killed another man. Killed how? An unbelievable set of circumstances. He killed a man who looked just like you. Pavlovsky hired a hitman. That can't be. That's not true. No, Pavlovsky. And yet, Pavlovsky is my friend. We are classmates. Here's the morgue calling. Yes. I'm writing it down. Nikitin. Thank you. Do you know the name Alexei Nikitin? What did you say? I'm sorry. Alexei Nikitin. Alexei, yes. He's the chief technologist of my water, my predecessor. He died tragically, and I took his place. Wow. They say he was a smart specialist. Good man. Good man. Maybe that's why he didn't sign the forged testimony. That's why he was killed. They're hiring you to replace him, since you're a classmate. Pavlovsky was counting on your loyalty. No, Nikitin drowned on a fishing trip. Drowned himself. Yes, but before that he was stabbed with the same knife as a man who looks a lot like you. Do you have your boss's number? Yeah. You want me to call him? No, there's no need to call him. Let him think you're dead. Yeah. Write down his number, please. Oh, sure. Igor, run this number. I want all calls made in the last 24 hours. If the killer's not a pro, but an amateur, he probably used his regular number. Jenna Kanadi Petrovich. Here you go. You need to pull yourself together, Max. I don't know how. Max, if you don't pull yourself together now, our future is in question. Our whole future is in question. Stop whining. If we win this game, we go to Madrid for the tournament. 
seriously. Are you serious? Yes, Max, did you hear that? Look, your kid's gonna be so proud of you. Dad's a champion. Thank you. Our future is being decided right now. So come on, buddy, you need to pull yourself together. Of course I will. Keep an eye on him. Max. In the past 24 hours, Pavlovsky has spoken to 38 numbers. Most of them managed to get through. Semyon Fedek is among them. He works at the slaughterhouse in Tarasovka as a senior slaughterer. Did you check the slaughterhouse? Yeah, he does work there. He's on shift today. Hi. We're on our way to the address. We need five men. Client's nervous. He might freak out. Thanks, man. Alexander Alexandrovich. Yes. Go with Igor and sign an undertaking not to leave. I hope I don't have to explain why. Of course you don't. Well, Are we breaking up again? Yes. Can you forgive him? Pasho, please forgive me. For what? Today everything is back to normal. You love him. You don't have to apologize for that. Farewell. Here we go, I won't be able to stay away. We will have to see each other. Of course we will. But it will be a different life. The investigation has begun. Investigation? I understand. I'm ready to take responsibility for all my actions. Anja. Will you ever forgive me? The varsity team is playing tonight. It's that crucial game. Let's go together to support. Max, let's go. Come on, come on. Come on, guys.
I'm going to be sick. Don't get my shoes dirty. How do you put up with that smell? I'm surprised myself. Hello. Who do you want? We need a senior slaughterman. Is Fedek working today? He is. Just finished his shift, but I won't let you in there today. It's my day off tomorrow. Come on, come on, come on. Hello. We need to see Seaman Fedek. Who's asking? We are from the next village. We have to take the meat to the market on Saturday and our slaughterer is drunk. And my father is sick. And the two of us can't cope. We need help. Are you Fedek? And who are you? Your brother's too weak to be a pig farmer? He's all right. He's descendant. And you got a real cop face on you. Hey, Gore. Drop the gun. Stay where you are. Look at me. Look at me. Don't touch the knife. Hold on, kid. We'll call an ambulance. Don't worry. Is this a score? Anything can happen. What will happen? The game is practically... Hurry up, faster. Don't worry. Pavel Petrovich, I'm a real policeman now. First combat wound. To be as good as new, a real policeman. Max, come on, come on. Nika, this is my parents. Let's go over here. Sure. Anya. Thank you for everything. Let's go. Mom, Dad, this is my girlfriend Nika, meet each other. So, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, Nika, I heard about you, not much, though because you can't get much out of media. 
Congratulations. We will play in Madrid. Can you imagine? Really? Kolesnikov takes me to the main lineup. Media. Mom, Dad, thank you very much. We made it. I suggest we celebrate. Shall we have dinner at home? I'd love to. Thank you. That's a wonderful idea. Let's do it. You were wrong. You killed the wrong man. What do you mean? It wasn't Evlev you stabbed. It was a man who looked a lot like him. Coincidentally, he was in the same restaurant that night. I killed an innocent man. How long have you been running errands for Pavlovsky? I asked you a question. Three years. Three years ago, I was called to slaughter a boar at his mother's house. She lives in a village near Tarasovka. She set the table after work. I drank a lot then. And at night I was driving and hit a woman. Dead. Pavlovsky saw it. He said he'd take the case, so he did. I vote him ever since. Plus, he pays good money when he asks. Did you do a lot of errands during the time? Did you stab the previous My Water Technologist Nikitin, too? It's the first time I've seen him. Remember, remember, look carefully. I didn't kill him. He drowned himself. Drowned himself. There were wounds on his body from the knife you used to slaughter pigs. Pavlovsky said he was an avid fisherman. I asked to join his boat. I wanted to stab him in the liver. The boat rocked. And the knife went through him thigh. We got into a fight. He jumped out of the boat out of his mind. I guess he wanted to swim to shore. He had a long coat on. And the wound was deep. It's late fall. The water's freezing. He didn't make it. Sign here. Sign here. I hope you got what he deserved. You and your Pavlovsky. Yes, Pavel Petrovich. Igor, how are you? Everything is fine. The wound was stitched up and numb. The wound is superficial, so I should be discharged home tomorrow. Oh, I mean, to work. Pavlovsky is just being detained. Well, that's a lot of work. Come back soon. Got it. I'm on that. Do it. Buddy.